Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Ike Live. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I know I we know are. We are. Uh, got a great show going on tonight. Man, it's really been fun. It's nice having uh, a full house tonight. Of course, uh, Pete and Paul uh, sitting to my right and left. And we've got Bailey fresh off a nice win tonight. Peter, Paul, and Bailey? <laughs> yeah, Peter, Paul, and Bailey. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, that gets a prize. Yes, it does get Jake a prize. Jake and Bailey have no idea what, what the joke is. Not no, a no, no. No, and uh, is PBP. but it's been a great show. Let me remind you, if you're watching, uh, we want you to like and share the Facebook feed. If you're watching over there, if you do that, you're going to be entering a chance to win the world famous Ike Live gift bag. Uh, also, if you've got a comment or a question or anything about what you're hearing or seeing tonight, please send it in. Jake will put it through mm -hmm. at least the good ones. He'll put through. Uh, Brian, this has been a good show, but yes. I am very, very excited. Before, wait, but before we even get to that, Paul. Did you? I saw you looking at your phone. Yeah. Normally yeah. everybody's taking a piss break, but you were looking at your phone. You got something looking you want to say phone real quick? And, uh, what, what happened over there? Something I, happened? Yeah, I think uh, there's this there's this little bait company. I use a lot of their products, like pa Berkeley Power Worms. Yeah, Berkeley. Uh, well, your I name is Power Bait Paul. It is. It of course. Is. Yeah. I've, I've, I've earned that. Yeah. And uh, Ber <laughs> Berkeley, Berkeley started following me. Berkeley yeah. followed you! Oh, come. Finally. Look at that. Yeah. The power yeah. of Ike Live. The power yeah. of Ike Live compels you. The power of Ike Live compels you. Hold on. Let me open the four Appreciate giants. It. Spray that all over the place. Um, also, Brian uh, was nice that uh, we were drinking the all day, uh, uh -huh. all day chill day uh, up to now, but. We made a little switch, yeah. and this is a really good one, too. This is the Four Giants Haze. Brian, this is a good one. You want to talk about this one? This is pretty phenomenal. I like it. You like it a lot. Yep. Okay. Another Founders beer. Once Bailey. again. Yeah, you I, like it? Yeah. Here's okay. the thing. I feel like a lot of people watch this from different parts of the country, different parts of the world. They, yep. they watch these shows after the live, and they're like, God, these guys love Founders. But – you can find them through the app, right, Brian? That's right. Founders app. You put in your zip code. You can find out where they sell them. That's, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. So if you're watching, go to founders.com. Put the Founders app in your phone. You can find out where to get them. That's uh, correct, Four Giants is good. That is also All correct. Right, so, dude, this is the me. I'm very excited about this next guest. Because As me, well. This has really, we mentioned earlier, but it's taken the last few days by storm. It's, fe it's felt like overwhelming I can't get away from it. <laughs> and I think the reason is is because people are outraged. People are outraged by the fact, That's a fact that something they love to do, which is tournament fish. I don't care if it's, you know, think about that term, tournament fish. Bass, walleye, crappie, even saltwater guys. I, I mean, I've watched the thing blow up. Guys are outraged. That the fact that something they love to do, something they're passionate about, somebody would have it, that malice. It right? was satisfying to see them getting busted. It, and it was satisfying. And that's what I think everybody got ah. a sense of satisfaction. Plus, there's video. There's I mean, let's video. just be real. Like, Vi when there's video, that just. Right, Bailey, yeah. in today's yeah. age, right? Did you, video if you have proof is everything. If you have proof. Because think about this, like, all the other, uh, like, egregious, yeah. like, like, busts like yes. where people got caught yeah it was like rumor yeah. rumors Conjecture, right the rumor like mill. we heard or right we think this happened right but this dude they they that didn't they us. performed an autopsy right there <laughs> right, yeah. right there right in right. front of the my man my man performed the autopsy and then threw him out like an umpire <laughs> oh yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah right but, there in front of us right but here's yeah. the thing so all this build up and energy but i mentioned it earlier up to this point, it's all like second, third, fourth hand, right? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're seeing something come through social media, and we really don't know. Yeah. So this is exciting, and I, I'm I'm so we got happy. weights I, in their bellies. We yeah. got weights in the fish, right? <laughs> and I and I think I think like personally, I want to know. We want to know. I think the world wants to know. I'm so excited to have uh I have have this next guest on, um. And I, I haven't met him yet, but I'm excited to have him on the show to tell the real story. I want to hear what, what's happened. So uh, joining us now, Brian, I think Jason we got Fisher, him. yep. Jason Fisher. And by the way, hats off to Brian the Carpenter for – And uh, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> and Jake for making this happen because – Jake found the number real quick. For thank me. you, Jake, because this is current. So thank you. Hmm. Uh, join us right now. We've got Jason Fisher joining us, who is the tournament director of the circuit where it happened. Jason. Yes. Oh, hold on a second. Let me do that. Go okay. Ahead. Jason, how you doing tonight? 
I'm good. How are you guys doing? Very good. Thank you for joining us on the show. Sorry we, we got to you so late. This show is always late on everything we do. Uh, f- first of all, you know, a lot of our viewers and listeners, by you know, they're watching live right now or they're going to get to this in a day or two or a week from now. Some might not know, but um, let, let's just – let's do an overview really quick. Big tournament, championship in the walleye world, big event, prestigious event, uh, big deal uh, in, in the walleye world, and something happened. Something went down that's not right. It's, it, it, it breaks everything. It breaks the code of why we fish. Give us the overview of, of, of what happened, how this went down. Pete, you made a good point. How did you, how did you find out this happened? G- give us a little background on what, th- what went down. Well, basically, um, it's, it's our championship. We're here on Erie. We fish from March till, till now. Last year, we went into November. Um, we just wanted to try to save a little bit of weather, so we, we shortened the season up a little bit. Yeah. And, um, you know, it was all boiling down to literally the last person to weigh in um, before this exploded, man. I mean, the, the whole season boiled down to this. We have not only the championship um, tournament, we've got the team race, we've got a cumulative uh, season long. We do a five fish bag. So all the big fish these guys weigh in on the year, we'll do a cumulative score. Um, you know, just, just all of this hype for the whole year boiled down into this very last team to weigh in. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we did it that way on purpose. I, you know, these guys were, were the leaders for the team race. Um, they've been consistent. They, you know, they, they win yeah. a lot. And, you know, we, we may know why now, or at least we know why they intended on winning this one. Um, and, and we set it up to, to bring them up last. And, oh, boy, boy, the world is flipped upside down now, man. We, yeah. Yeah. Autopsy. I heard you say autopsy. I, there was nothing surgical about it, but I got <laughs> some weights out of that damn fish. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm here. I, I it looked like you were gonna say something. Yeah, no, we we lost it just for a second, but I was gonna say I as you were talking, I was in my mind imagining. I think in every tournament world, we know that scenario, right? the Bassmaster Classic or, you know, a championship event where it's the buildup. And it's, dude, ev- everything's on the line here because it's the biggest thing of the year. I, t- I, I felt, as you were talking, I felt it. And, you know, normally when you have that kind of event, and it's a great thing too because Bass does it all the time. Bailey, you know, Bass will purposely hold back the winners or who they think is going to do well, or right? will contend. Will contend to build drama, build excitement. That's a normal thing in the sport. But what's not normal is what happened next. And, and I think, you know, for me, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Pete, how – How'd you guys figure out that there was a problem? Jason, how, how did it get to the point where here's a team that was competitive all year. They've had another great event. Yes, you know, guys get in the zone, guys get in the rhythm to, wait a minute, is this – Legit? Is this legit? Is something shady? How did, how did that – how did that happen? So it's been an up and down roller coaster um, all year long with these guys. You know, when guys have success, you, you you just naturally have other guys complaining about them. Whether it's you know, oh hey, I don't think that fish was legit, or these guys are doing you know better than we think they should be doing. And we have yeah, we have people run you know polygraph tests and BSA tests and and hell, uh, the last event we even had camera guys. We were running the first three team uh team of the year guys uh camera boats you know we're, we're a small scale so that type of thing is expensive for us but i wanted to document what these guys were doing and i'm not meaning these guys i'm meaning our anglers right you know and this team just so happened to be part of that because they were in the lead um and and they they pulled out a win with a camera person on their boat now i don't you know i don't know if they did something Whoa. dishonest it, it, you know, with that, but, but like you, you know, I heard you talking earlier, you know, these guys have, uh, you know, not, not this team, but you, you mentioned a bass angler that had a hidden compartment in his boat, you know, and, and these, 
they, they may be able to do, you know, if they're stuffing weights and fish, I don't know. Um, but, but he did it with a camera person on his boat. So that restored all my, you know, confidence in him. I'm like, right. these guys are the best. You know, yeah. I praised them. I, I was, wow. I was jacked up because finally to me, I was like, we put it to bed. I'm like, these dudes are, are doing it legit. They did it with my guy on the boat. You know, right. I was happy for him. I, right. I was the first one to call him. You know, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm, I'm proud of you guys. You know, I know it's been a rough year. You know, guys giving you a hard time. I said, but you did it. You know, it's over now. And, and, and that's what I said to him. You know, and then that brings us to this event. And, you know, here we are. It's our championship. They're in the lead. And, you know, and they went in confident. Uh, you know, they said, we're going to, you know, we intend on winning. And, and I'm just like, yeah, well, do me a favor and don't. So everybody, you know, ha has a good time today because, you know, <laughs> when, when you have that much success, it ultimately, yeah. you know, yeah. it rubs people the wrong way. Yeah, um, because everybody works hard. It's not just one team that works hard. You yeah, know? that was pretty much my entire career official with Kevin Van Dam. So I understand <laughs> that. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, what was what was the so, purse today, Jason? What's that? What was the purse today? What was first place? So first place was eight grand just strictly for the tournament, you know, and there's a lot of extras on top of that um, that they could have won. So had that team won. Oh, it would have been like twenty eight thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars for for him. That's Dang. good payday. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's a good purse. Yeah, nice well, payday. Well, considering our series, I mean, they enter these events. Uh, this event was a four hundred dollar entry with with an addi additional options for a hundred and twenty bucks. So they four hundred twenty dollars to take home that much money is is pretty good. That that's really good. good. Yeah, that's really good. So I, I'm st I still I still want to Jason tell us the build up so I, I can see it so. You know, a, a success a lot of time breeds hatred. Sometimes, you know, yeah. misplaced. Misplaced. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes not. And we're at the championship event. They had a camera in the boat, had success in that event. So I can see where it's like, thank God, you know, all these are just rumors. Yeah. And then we get to this event. I'm still curious. How, what was the. Who. who how how did it the get. Smoking gun. Yes. What. what, what it, so, you know, who flagged so here it is. And I, you know, I'd like to take all the credit, but I can't, it's, it's, it's the guys, it's the anglers. So when I, when I held these guys off till the end, I had a couple teams in the race and, and our second place team of the year weighed in, they had 20 some pounds, 22 pounds approximately. And, and this is a down day for Lake Erie, first of all. Like the weather's flipped. We've had a lot of north winds. The fish just weren't biting. I mean, our temperature dropped uh, about 15 degrees. I mean, they were struggling. So yeah. I had a lot of teams zero. Good anglers are zeroing. And, I went, you know, our second place team of the year, they weigh in 21 pounds, which on a normal Lake Erie day, I mean, you probably, you're probably not even weighing. You're just, you know, you're being pissed off and getting in your truck and going home. Yeah. You know, but it's a championship. Everybody's sticking around. So they weigh and that puts them in the fifth place. And I studied these, these numbers and I knew that the, the next team, the, the current first place team of the year, they needed to get to 10th place or better. And they would win team of the year, 11th place or below. And they would lose team of the year. They would take second place. So I had those numbers worked out in my head and I'm looking at the computer screen and I see that 11th place is 16 and a half pounds roughly. And I just, I'm looking at them, take their fish out of the bag and put them in the basket. And I'm like, ah, okay, four pounder. I'm like, all right, maybe there's another four pounder. I'm like, okay, if they have a four pound average, it's going to put them at 20 pounds. I said, they're going to win this thing, you know? So they come up and, and they, they have a big fish to weigh. Uh, we weigh our big fish first. So they throw it up on the scale and I see like 7.90 or 9.1. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I'm like, there's just no way. I'm looking at, you know, Lake Erie right now is just chock full of four to five pound fish. And when this, when this fish hits the scale, I'm just like, no way, no way. But, but, but I'm trying to just continue about my job. So they put the next four up there and they got a basket of five fish. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, 20, 21, 22 pounds all day long, you know, at most 25 and the scale just jumps to 33 pounds. And some, and some change, almost 34. Holy and I'm just Christ. like, like you could just see, you could feel it in the, in the yeah. whole atmosphere changed. 
yeah the wind was taken from my sails and i'm just like uh oh, yeah you're new leaders you know and i'm i'm trying to be happy for them but i'm just like thinking to myself there's just no way yeah and you can hear you can hear the crowd they're just you know some guys are you know a little loud and oh you know bs and you know i i can hear it yeah so i'm like hey you know hang out i need pictures of those fish i need you know i need you to just hang out over here and um i can just you could you could just cut the tension with a knife man and and uh and you know so that i can hear some fit anguish start jaw jacking and and you know i'm like hey you know you, he starts to walk away a bit and i'm like you got to stay over here i want to look at those fish you know and there was some there was some back and forth like are you serious you know this has got to stop and i'm like i'm serious i'm I, you know i want to take a look at the fish so uh, walleye they don't have to be alive uh especially lake erie summertime you know it's starting to get tough to keep fish alive coming out of 70 foot of water or something so you know the first thing i want to do is just check to see the condition of the fish are they are they alive are they you know are they mushy do they look like they you know being caught today what are the mm. yeah mm -hmm. so so i pull the first one out you know and it's dead i slap it in the basket and i pull the second one out and it's dead as a doornail too you know so i'm like man so i so I put the fish on the ground and I, and I feel it. I actually like feel the fish because a live fish, as you know, it has, you know, it has a firmness about it. So I feel this fish and I, I kind of squeeze it a little bit. And immediately when I squeezed this fish, I felt hard objects in the belly of this fish. Ooh. And I'm just like, I knew, Man, I knew yeah. instantly, like yeah. not, not one second later, I knew instantly Scalpel. What, was, what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I told my way guy, I said, Hey, get me a knife. Um, and we turned the live feet off at this point. And I said, get me a knife. And we, we grabbed the, we grabbed the knife and I handed him my cell phone. I said, turn the video on. Yeah. So he turns the video on. And I sliced his fish open, man. And the first thing I see is just this, this nice silver chunk of lead. And I grabbed that sucker and I'm like, we got weighted fish, you know, and I got pretty animated at that point in time. And you know, and I, I basically told him to get out of here. Yeah. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So I, 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 I can, I, I'll say this. What a, because it's hard. Like when you see a fish in the bass world, at least, you want to believe you know what it weighs, right? And you see, you know, you see a fish that's, we talked about it earlier. You know, an 18, 19 inch fish in the bass world weighs, you know, four pounds. You know, it's in that range. So these fish, that was a great catch, Jason, because. You know, you're looking at a fish and it's body mass. You're saying, yeah, it should be a four or five pound walleye. Yeah. You put it on the scales, it weighs seven and a half pounds. That's a great catch, you know? That's I a would, great catch. I would almost, like, it's amazing that you were able to, to, to come to that conclusion. Because my, as a tournament director, I'd be like, is my scale malfunctioning? Right, right. You know, like, is uh, it a di uh -oh. right. is, it a is, is it my problem? Right. You know what? What's going on? I, I might. I, I don't think I would automatically jump to the conclusion that these fish have been stuffed. Right, but the but they weighed the big one first, which I think was important to this whole thing, and, right? And and you have been getting complaints about these guys since for the last two years. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. So it's kind of funny that you say that, and it brings me back to a memory that I have. Um. Now I've, I've, I've went back and forth. I've, I've thought that there was some dishonesty then I've been their biggest fan and I've thought there's, you know, it's just mm. so wishy-washy with these guys. And I truly try and give them the benefit of the doubt. I try to give all my guys the benefit of the doubt. And I remember an event this year where they put some, some fish on the scale and then the fish came off the scale and I'm like, wait a minute. I did it. It just, I'm trying, I'm going fast and they weren't the last ones to weigh in. So I'm like, did I just see what I think I just, it was that the weight? I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. And I muttered like, you know, let me reweigh those. But I, you know, I'm not a professional at this. I'm not, you know, we're some local guys. I'm trying to do the best I can. Yeah. And I also, you know, am trying to just not, you know, cause a complete scene, but, but it didn't, I didn't end up reweighing them because I thought the same thing that you just thought is my equipment messed up. Like yeah. those, those yeah. are not, you know, did we, 
did we accidentally weigh the basket and not tear it out? You know, right, did right. something like that happen? Um, because it just it didn't match up. And and bass, you know, you might bass are a little bit different because they don't grow as long as walleye. But but I could say on a on a you know consistent basis, the longer the walleyes get, you can kind of pin them in weight classes. You know, a 20, yeah. 29 inch walleye, you're looking at an eight nine pound fish. You know, and then spring. And fall, you know, they obviously get fatter, but it's just they 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 weigh very similar, especially on Lake Erie, because they're all coming out eating healthy. You know, it's it's very consistent. And uh, to see a fish, I mean, they're not they're almost not even as long as the basket that I have. And, you know, they're not seven pound fish. You would need a seven pound average fish to get almost 30, 35 pounds. Yeah. They had. yeah, it just didn't add up. And the guys knew it. I mean, if you listen to some of these videos that have been that you see all oh, over yeah. social media, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're like, "No way, no, you know, no way." Right. And you know, these guys, these guys are good, man. One of one of our anglers, uh, you know, actually stepped up, and he's like, "You know, let me see those fish." And he 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 was wanting to get involved, you know. I and I already had it in my mind I was going to inspect the fish, but but this guy wasn't going to go down, you know, peacefully. He he spoke his piece. Wow. Yeah. So they, you're, you're manipulating the belly. You feel this object, and uh, like the one thing that I was most shocked at is the the tournament angler. I I, I thought he would run for the hill. <laughs> well, I think one of, one, one of them did. One of them did. One of them. One of them ran for the hills, and one of them stayed. Is that how it worked? Yeah, that's exactly how it worked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was frozen, Pete. I, you know, he what, was closing man, his I eyes, clicking know. his heels, trying to say, that, you know, make this all go away. Calgon, yeah. take this it is away. not happening right yeah. now. Yeah, he was, was in, a, yeah, he was I, in I, dreamland. Yeah, uh, nightmare. And he, that was crazy that this went down. And uh, the, the, you know, so well, let take us through. You found the lead, right? You've got, you've got the, uh, the, you've got the gun, the. Evidence. The murder weapon. Yeah, evidence. You've, it's clear. You, you've got the gun. Yeah. How did yeah. you – I guess the next thing is maybe to try to keep the mob under control. Yeah. Well, your job was a hard well, one. Yeah. I know, like I said, I, I know these dudes, and I'm telling you right now, I, you don't it, – it's like it's like pissing off some people in a bar, you know. You, yeah. you walk into the wrong bar. Yeah. You meet the wrong guys. These dudes – you know this it's not just their money you know it's their it's their family life it's their their vacation time off work yeah it's it's all inclusive it's it's the egos you know i mean these guys want to win most of these guys roll up to the parking lot and they got two hundred thousand dollars worth of boat and truck they don't care to win yeah. eight grand i yeah. mean it's nice but they just spent you know a lot of these guys you know running 40 50 60 miles to go fish the best water gas prices are up i mean they want to win they don't you yeah. know they don't care to win you know a couple grand a piece you know um you know so it's just it was a bad environment i'm like i'm like dudes i'm like you got to go and guys do not touch them you know i'm like don't yeah. make a bad situation worse i said don't touch them right and uh That's nobody did strong uh, they made them stay they made them stay though, because they called the police and they wanted them to stay. They said, "No, you're not going anywhere. You stay." You know, um, but no, but nobody, nobody touched them. You know, that's that's a good thing. I, I got two things. So, so what's the police involvement? How's how's that going to play out? Well, all of the information was turned over uh, to the Division of Wildlife. They're gonna they're gonna investigate, and you know, potential charges would be up to them. Um, so local law enforcement has all the information and and we'll let them do their job and anything they need from us we'll, we'll give to them okay do you do you do you have any idea what may come of it from that aspect you know so there was fish fillets inside the fish you probably have some some game violations there uh you may have some attempted theft or theft by deception um you know i don't i don't know uh, obviously the amounts they wanted to know the amount of money these guys could have won they they took all my tournament records from this whole year um you know there's there's a bigger picture obviously yeah. that they're looking at so yeah. uh and, and they know these you know there's been precedents set all across the country so i'm sure they'll resource out you know what other jurisdictions have done 
you know, but it, it, you know, I'm confident they'll do their job and they'll, you know, they'll hopefully bring some peace to this thing. My, my question is, how did they pull that off with a cameraman in the boat? Do you think they could have uh, paid him off or? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, so, yeah. so that's, that's I question. mean, yeah. that's, a, that's always, you know, so I'm hearing a lot of that on social media. It's, it's weird because when this happened and they won, there was some haters running their mouth about, oh, yeah, the cameraman fell asleep and then they did <laughs> stuff to the fish. It was almost rumors that they started that like and I'm not saying that they started them, but these were rumors or like like, no, nope, there was no rumor mill. I didn't hear from one of my anglers any complaints. But then the haters, I'm hearing all these complaints like, oh, yeah, now people are saying you did this or now people are saying you did that. I don't li- nobody was talking except for them, like like the haters, you know, and I'm just like. These guys could have done anything on that boat and, and our camera guy, you know, he he wasn't paid off. He's a naive younger dude who yeah. was jacked up. He was getting good film yeah. and, you know, they did catch fish. I mean, they made they made have won the tournament fair and square. But you know what? If they have some system and on dropping these weights and fish, I'm sure it doesn't take long or when the camera guy gets off the boat and they're pulling the truck up to the scales or something. I, I just don't know. But, yeah. you know, they if if they did it with a camera guy on the boat, it was their perfect storm because they got me. I, I was wow. on their side after this after that yeah. event. Yeah. Let me say this. I want to jump in real quick. I still have part two, but go ahead. I know. Hold on. I want to jump in real quick and say this. First thing, walleye anglers, walleye tournament anglers are fucking awesome. <laughs> I want to say that real quick because I got a chance to fish a few walleye tournaments in my in my history. They're amazing, and they're hardcore, and this isn't indic- indicative to all walleye fishermen, right? This is just – this is a problem that – all fishing has had true mm-hmm. and walleye guys can drink a lot of beer too which i really appreciate uh, <laughs> the other thing i want to say to you jason is the video that i saw where you you know you got pissed off because this is your deal and and i i honestly i looked at that and i'm like man that's freaking awesome because i can see that you were passionate about it and it it, it like reminded me of like there were two things that reminded me of one was it reminded me sort of a like a chris farley movie that i saw before <laughs> but the other one was me and pete glusick got into a, a fight at a bar before uh, many years ago <laughs> and pete was so mad he was like banging on his chest it reminded me of that but <laughs> it was the same thing because it was like seriously it was like man this is bullshit because it's something i'm passionate about so yeah. not pre- a fight with each other right not a fight with each other yeah. a fight with somebody else but i appreciate yeah. that, Jason. that didn't he tear that his awesome. shirt off and beat his hairy chest no he's just beating his chest <laughs> i didn't know he didn't tear his shirt off but Come he was on. beating his chest i think he did i wasn't, no. I wasn't opposed to it okay brian what else did you have <laughs> i know you had something else Good, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm sorry yeah um, well, it's fucked up now because you guys all stepped all over, which is stupid shit. I know, shit. I know. I was just saying, like, maybe next time, you know, telling the guys don't touch them, another option would be all cameras off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because honestly, you know, and this is the people that, you know, will say that this isn't the great idea, but fuck them. You know, sometimes people need to get punched in the face. I mean, it's just... I think it would have served them well. I mean, it's at the end of the day, world, what though. are they? Yeah, I, I, yeah it's a different, it's world, a different because world because we've yeah. allowed certain people to make that, make it that. Yeah. Turn the damn cameras off and punch them in the face. Yeah, right. you know, like it's a different world, though. I, I think it will come full circle, though, and they'll, they'll get what they, what they deserve. But here's, I don't, uh, yeah, I think they will. A broken nose still hurts. But here's the, here's the big thing that I, I want to say. It always, it always J- will hurt. Yeah, and Jason, this is crazy because I think. This, what happened, and I'm glad you handled it the way you did. I think what you did and what happened is a good thing for tournament fishing. Yes. And it, it will change. It will change the sport of tournament fishing across the board. I really think it will. Mm-hmm. And I think it was important that it happened at this public level. Because, Pete, you mentioned it. It's happened before. This isn't anything new. We've heard this stuff since we fished from the late 80s to now, right? Sure. We've heard of these stories. But to have this documentation, I think, in the next year or two, you will see walleye, crappie, bass tournaments take new measures to not have this happen, you know? 
And I think it, w- it was great the, the way it was documented because I think it, it needed to happen. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. The it angry South to happen. Sounded like a South Park crowd. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it did. Jason, yeah. so um, what was with the walleye flays? I have my, my theory on that, but do you, you know, I'm just the only thing I'm thinking of is is it probably it, it, it probably was something that could be undetected. It, you're not going to feel it. It's it's natural. It's not going to go off in some detector, you know, and I don't know if that was put in there. And then they're like, man, we probably ought to get get some more weight in there. I, I, you know, I don't know, but it's just a natural thing that I assume they would they would think went undetected. I feel like it was put in there as part of the weights to to pad the bellies. Pad the bellies. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Like what, I know when you held the one up, it looked like there was a string hanging from it. Maybe maybe there wasn't. I didn't know if they were sewing the weights into the fillets and then they came undone. But I was thinking, no, it, there was there was nothing like that. It was just it was just kind of a big sloppy mess in there. But again. There was no surgical precision, man. It was just slice and dice and start ripping weights out of these fish and stomp their heads into the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Uh, when 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 weights come out of a fish, you got a problem. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, I want to check in, Jake. What do we got coming through? I know we got a lot of people watching and listening that are fed up too, like everyone. So, what do we got coming through the uh, IMs right now? We got a good one from Nicholas Law on Facebook. He said overseas in Japan they use metal detectors on the fish before they get weighed in. Yeah, like wands, like wands, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, nope. that's yeah. Mexico. Mexico, okay. Wands, and uh, we need hats to say we got weights and fish <laughs> <laughs> from from Jabber. Uh, we from got weights. Nolan Miner. <laughs> no, oh, we need the hats. Yeah, <laughs> no, I honestly think the the metal detector thing might be something you see, Pete. Uh, I, guess, I, I unfortunately, I guess that's we're gonna see it. Yeah. You know, because it could happen. It could be happening under our noses right. in bass fishing tournaments. Right. You know, yeah. Because bass are bass are a little different, right? Because they can, you know, the same. They get wide, right? And you could you could hide. I'm not trying to give anybody ideas. <laughs> yeah. But you may be able to hide weight in in fish like that. It right. might be happening under our nose. Right. When there's money on the line, anything's possible. Yeah. And, and yeah, well, that's a great. That's money a great keeps point. getting bigger. Yeah, that's a great point, Bailey. It's it's you know, it, it money can can make honest people crazy. Mm-hmm. It really can, and yeah. that's a that's a shame that it's yeah. like that. But uh, y- you know, like as a tournament guy, I can step back and say, that's, I don't com- I don't compete for that. Like this year in bass is a great example, dude. I sucked asshole. I was I couldn't not catch a fish this year. Yeah, you could have used some but weights. But I would I could have used weights, <laughs> but I would never trade that no. to cuz it's not why I do it, right? But uh for for me it was always But like, money changes things. Yeah, the, yeah, like I would never want to have an infraction that would keep me out of the sport that I love so much. Right. You know, so yeah. if I and I I err on the side of caution to my own detriment a lot of times right. heard that you know yeah. like I, I i didn't go into a creek one time on last year on the potomac because i was like because you thought it might be off limits i you thought it might be yeah. off limits and i'm like i i i don't i, I can't right. i love this sport right. man i don't want anything to stop me from doing it yeah. you know it's like what your your mother says when you're a kid it's like think about your the consequences before your actions yeah right if they scare you then don't do it right yeah. don't be a s- don't be a moron you idiot right, right? like that, <laughs> right, that that's what mom said yeah. right jake <laughs> what do you got jason did this team uh they fished a fall brawl and a walleye slam did they uh lose because of a polygraph failing a polygraph yeah so i i currently run the fall brawl now um i did not run it last year and they won that tournament with again a 29 inch fish that weighed 12 and 12.79 something pounds so kind of although it was fall and the fish are fat there was some controversy over that fish um and then ultimately the fall brawl didn't pass them on their polygraph um so Mm. that you know they were disqualified there uh and then the the walleye slam did pass them on their polygraph so you know who knows i never yeah. i don't have the results although i'm the the new current uh owner of the fall brawl i never got to the bottom of the story because of legal reasons 
you know, yeah. the old administration. And then, and then these, these contestants kept that, you know, secret, I guess. Um, and yeah, so that's, it, it was a huge deal with these guys. And that was the thing. It was like, did they do something wrong or didn't they? Because ultimately these polygraphs are, are tools, they're instruments and humans are the ones that run them. Right. So you just never know what you get. And it's kind of the best we have in these types of situations when you're fishing out by yourself. Um, obviously, you know, you got to look into a few more precautions now, but like you said, it may change the game, but it was, it was a huge deal last year and it involved these guys. Right. Jason, uh, how do you think these guys are going to be treated next year on tour? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, you know what? Honestly, I, you know, I, I don't want to see anybody lose everything they got. I think I think they did a pretty good job at doing that, though. Um, I don't think they'll ever fish any tournament ever again uh, anywhere. But But, like, you know, fishing is – fishing is a is a pastime you grow up and and i know that these guys you know have kids and i hope that the sport isn't ripped from them and and they can get back to at least being able to enjoy the sport um i'm, I'm re i really am sorry that this happened for them because everybody everybody makes mistakes but this one's inexcusable yeah but it, but it's a you know fishing is a way of life for mo as you guys know you know and i i hope i hope that they could at least get that back uh, that's admirable jason yeah um but this isn't their first time they've been doing it a long time in my opinion you know they put eight pounds into five fish that's yep. that's that's not like dipping your toes in they've been doing it they've been doing it they've been getting away with it and they're addicted to it. And uh, I hope they never fish again, and I hope they golf. I hope they take, yeah. I hope they take their bullshit to the golf course. Uh, that's worse than a prison sentence, Brian. I'm just saying that's what you, I'd like to see. You're trying to make them golfers. And, and their children golf, too. Wow. Oh, God, that's below the belt right there. I'm just saying, Jason. Damn, now their At kids are going hostility. Yeah. Yeah. Even the hostility with the golf statement. Man, you know, it's interesting because the eight pounds. Well, at first, I thought eight pounds of weight. That's a, a monumental amount, but if you distribute it over five fish, that's that's like a pound and three quarters of fish. It's still a lot, though. That's still yeah, a lot. That's I a mean, lot, this, man. this was nice that Jake brought this in. We've got a little wick, wicker basket here, Jason. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this that uh, was brought in here. And we have lead weights. These are probably a different kind, but that's that's a three-ounce weight right three there. Three-ounce. Wow. That's a three-ounce. Yep. Just that one. So if you're going to pound, what what did you just say? A pound and what? That's a pound and three. That that's a that's an extra pound in addition to this weight. In addition to that weight, so Man. that's probably that's an a eight lot. Weight. Yeah, that's a lot. That's huge. That's lot. incredible. I, I, I wow. Yeah. Was there a pair of pliers amazing. too, Jason? <laughs> yeah, I keep hearing that. So that that that's my pair of pliers. We cut the fish open with like a Leatherman type tool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, suppliers weren't actually in there. Okay. I got you. Wow. Well, th this was a big deal. I mean, I think it took the world by storm for sure. <laughs> and uh, and oh, yeah. for sure it did. And uh, but you know things like this, it, it's very. <laughs> I think I think it's reactive. Like I think it was in high. It, it when we look at it years later, it's going to be a good thing for the sport. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's going to be a good thing because. We want things to be on the up and up. And I think other circuits will look at this and say, we need to address it. J you know? Jason, I, I heard they won 300 grand last year, Ooh. that team. Ooh. So, wow. um, I, I, you know, I haven't got out the pad and paper or uh, pen, and, pen and paper, but they, they won a boat and the boat was estimated, you know, at least they advertised it as 150 grand. So you got that. Wow. And in this in the same event, uh, you know, I believe they took like 11th place or something. So they got some cash for that. In my events, they won a lot of money. Um, they won other people's events. I mean, they they won a lot of money. And I don't know if it totals 300 grand. It's probably somewhere in that ballpark. But just, you know, just for my event in in uh, that would have been about 30 for Friday's event and, and you had three previous events that they won of mine this year you know I mean it was just like 
like you said, they kept, they kept, you know, they got greedy. Yeah. They kept going back to that. They did. They were getting away with it, and, and they were addicted. Is what you you know. Yeah. It could be if that if that's true, they you know, they were, they just tapped that that resource one too many times and got caught. You know. Yep. Mm. It was just a perfect storm. If if they were weighing in like in the middle of things, I don't know if I would have had enough guts to just stop the whole deal and and do that. Yeah. If they were dead last. And I knew it like I calculated in my brain exactly what they needed. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it cause I'm studying it and I want to be interesting while I was up there. And, uh, it was just, it was just a perfect storm. I, it just didn't add up to me. Yeah. Well, man, that's great heads up yeah. by yeah. you. And, uh, yeah. you yep. show great leadership at, the, True. at when all this was going down. So, I uh, just want to, you know, congratulate you for that. It's a tough situation, man. Yeah. Very you tough. handled it well. Yeah, you did. Yep. You did. Yeah, hats off. Hats off. I appreciate sure. it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, Jason, I, I appreciate you coming on. I mean, it was, like I said, what you see on social media and what actually happened can can mm. often be two different things. So it was great to hear the real story yeah. and get clarification on what happened. And uh, we appreciate you coming on the show. It was, it was awesome yeah, to hear it from you. I, I appreciate you inviting me. It was awesome, you know, to tell the story. And, and one thing I did want to kind of just say, and you guys already touched on it, this isn't a walleye fishing problem. This right. isn't a bass True. fishing problem. Yeah. This is a tournament fishing problem. And, and you guys, as well as our guys, do so many good things for the community, whether it's gas stations, hotels, restaurants, you know, local businesses, local yeah. bait shops, you know, rep and sponsors, you're – your uncle's brother's mother started a product and you've got them on your t-shirt, you know, and these guys, these guys do things, you know, it's a family and they, they help, you know, kids with cancer. And as a matter of fact, at this event, we were helping some, some families struggling with cancer. There's so many good things that come about from fishing and competitive fishing. That's not just a bunch of, you know, thugs up here trying to cheat people out of money. And, and it's the opposite. This is the, this is the extreme minority and yeah. most guys do this on the up and up and most guys value their reputation way more than they value 8,000 bucks. And, uh, you know, guys like you, like set the, set the stage for, for just guys like us that want to be part of it. And we want, we, you know, we want to be that big stage and we try our ass off to do that. And, uh, you know, this is not tournament fishing, you know, come out, check out the tournaments. It's a great atmosphere and be a part of it and learn some stuff because it's not this. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I'd agree. Uh, Jason, uh, real quick, we got a lot of people watching probably from uh, the Wally world as well tonight. If someone's watching tonight and they want to come fish your circuit next year, is there can, can you leave us with a with a website or a link or something? Well, how can they find you? So they can find us. It's Lake Erie um, Walleye Trail dot com, Lake Erie Walleye Trail dot com. And We've got signups going on for the fall brawl. It's, it's Lake Erie fall brawl. It's a $35 entry. Biggest fish. Uh, you, can, you can win a brand new boat. You know, we were giving away some boats, big, big prizes. And, and last year um, it, it ended up being won by a guy fishing out of a John boat. Heck not, yeah. not even a, not even a Love couple, it. couple Woo! hundred yards yeah. offshore. Oh, yeah. Man. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Tiny Bro. boat madness. Retreads. I love that. <laughs> and if he upgraded from a from a tin boat to a Ranger uh, Ranger six twenty two. <laughs> Holy smokes! Nice. Wow. Dang. Pete, you want to go Jason, to so tournament? so who yes. are who are the winners? <laughs> who are the who are the winners from this event? Yeah, who are the actual winners? We yeah. need to give them a shout out yeah. too. Yeah. So the actual winners, I'm gonna I'm gonna give three shout outs here. So how about it, buddy? We got actual winners are the Lake Erie Walleye Trail anglers. They got a clean slate. We got some we got some cheaters off the block. The right. winners of the event. Uh, Steve Tisco and Chris French. They won the championship. Yeah. Yes, uh, Frenchie. Frenchie. <laughs> Shout out to Frenchie. Yeah. Woo. Uh, and, and my man um, won team of the year. Uh, we've got uh, Steve Hendricks and Brian Almer. Those dudes rocked it all year long. Right on. They pulled it out. And they were team of the year. Heck yeah. That's That's awesome. So. That's awesome. I appreciate you guys, man. It's it's been awesome. Thank you. Yeah, Jason, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Jason. Thanks for, for straightening us out. We know the story now. We appreciate that. Yeah, man. Sir. Jason Fisher, everybody. Yes. Thanks. Good job, bud. Yes. That was that was awesome. And like I, I, honestly, I'd love to hear it from the horse's mouth because 
you know, who the hell knows? When shit's being spread through mm-hmm. social media, so-and-so post this, TikTok, this, that, blah, blah. You don't know. Right. And to get to hear it from the horse's mouth was great. But yep. let let me say this, Go Brian ahead. DeCarpenter, because I know uh-huh. we still got a couple things to do, uh-huh. housekeeping, but housekeeping. the <laughs> implications are great across the board. Because let me say this. Yes. I know a lot of people watching right now will be like, ah, this is just a walleye problem. Nah, dude. Mm. Because they use a leech and they troll <laughs> and it's critical <laughs> or whatever. Critical. In an Al Linder voice, right? <laughs> They're saying that to themselves. But it's a bigger problem because, you know, oh, yeah, here you have a, a, a team, right? A team tournament where you're saying two dudes in a boat as a team yeah. launching out Lake Erie. It's like the ocean. Yeah. That's a problem. But, dude, we have the problem. We have the problem. I Let me li- tell you this. I have a list of the problems. Oh. Let me tell you mm-hmm. mine, and then, Pete, since you got the list, I'll let you go on. Bailey, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> check it out, Bailey. Four times this year in the elites, Four. I fished by myself. They let me launch. BASS let me launch in an elite tournament uh-huh. by myself. In the bylaws, it said I had to run a camera. They never check my camera. They never check my chip. They never request it for the content from that day. I ran my camera because it was in the law. It was in the, the contract that I signed. Who the fuck knows? I'm out there at Santee where there's five, 10, 15 pounders on beds everywhere I'm by myself. What about the opens? Twice in the opens this year, I fished by myself with no check and balance. Dude, this isn't a walleye problem. This is a problem that goes across the board. Yeah. I, I, it worries me. Well, it's, it's gonna br- that's going to bring to light maybe some of the rules that, that are taking place right now, some <laughs> checks and balances. But it, like in the opens and even in the elites, you never know that you're not going to have a partner. You don't know, right? So there's. But I still hate it. It's hard to, pre- it's hard to prepare to cheat, if you anticipate you're always going to have a partner. You know? uh, maybe it's a good point. I don't know. I have I have my top list of infractions. Okay. You have a list. I have a list. All right. Inglises. Power by Paul. Let me get a drum roll. Drum roll. <laughs> Pete's list. <laughs> He's still awake. Pete's list. <laughs> um. Man, it's hard. I can't really put these in order except for number one. <laughs> number one, I think I have. Um, there was a – Broken trolling motor cables. Uh, uh, there was a BFL infraction by a Hoyle caught with an 11-ounce weight stuffed into a bass. An 11-ounce hand-poured lead weight stuffed in – was DQ'd from ever competing in BFL tournaments in North Carolina in 2012. Hmm. Huh. We have um, uh, the, the we talked about this the Nate Wellman incident. Oh yeah. Where he offered to purchase a bass from his co angler. Right. Buy it right there on the spot. Buy it. He got he suffered a twenty five hundred dollar penalty. That's was, it. And was put on probation. And and the oh, FLW. Cool. Uh, prevented him from fishing for a year. That would, that was his penalty. That's but, right. but, and and he should have been forced to golf. He <laughs> said he was joking. <laughs> his co angler said it sounded serious. There's no real, yeah, you know, yeah. and no and no real cheating or benefit was ever taking place. Right, you know. So, mm. so that's down low on my list. Um. Mike Jones, the longtime writer for Mike Jones for Jones Bassmaster page. magazine, um, every single entry into the largest bass weighed in is a violation. <laughs> what <laughs> is this? The Mike Jones that we met at? Yeah, every single I like that guy. one. Yeah. That guy's like dope. It, they're all caught on trout. They all have lead weights. They, you know. There's, there's well, that's, yeah, the one something from, going on with almost every, every entry. Oh, well, I would agree with that. We don't For know real. the historical world record because yeah. we don't have as much info on that one. But the current tie to the world record from Japan was caught on a bluegill. 
And right. that's a fact. Yes. Hmm. yes is that sir. a fact? That's <laughs> a fact. <laughs> is it is it openly said as it was oh, a bluegill? Yeah. 100%. So they admitted it was a bluegill. Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. yes. Which which leads me to the snagging of Mike Long on all those California mm. Giants, mm. just egregiously, you know, selling <coughs> and building an entire platform around it, and just yeah, you know, pulling the wool over the whole fishing community's eyes. Uh, go look. Go Google Mike Long snagging bass. <laughs> and you'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you Google it. <laughs> Story time the, with Uncle Pete. The <laughs> most. <laughs> the most. I'm surprised you're not supposed to find it on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't it encourage him, Paul. You know, t- this happened before TikTok, believe it or not. <laughs> Pete, was there life before TikTok? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it was a boring one. Anyway, I'll, I'll have to check. But to me, the most egregious. <laughs> And horrible <laughs> cheating took place <laughs> by Tony Christian, uh, who won a half a million dollars. FLW. He won the All American, and he was he was caught um, using a fish trap, <coughs> and the 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 giant cover up. This is a historical moment that yeah. is. <laughs> Giant cover up in the history of Mexico. Yeah. Bless you. He he. Apparently, there was a cancellation and or weather delay, one hour to fish, and he was highlighted in. Um, he threw to one spot on a dock, and caught a lim a solid limit of fish that put him in contention in the tournament, which red flagged him. And he went out the next day, and they the they were prepared with uh, video, and they had identified a fish trap off that dock yeah. that had bass in it. It had, a, it had a rubber top with an X through it where he was able to pitch his bait through there and, and basically elaborate, dude. Hide, hide the catches from his co-angler and from the camera even, right? Because it appeared as though – and he was. He was pitching the bait was into a place. Was he snagging them? No. He, they were they were eating it. They were eating it because they had been in there. Assuming they were starved. They were they were starved fish, or you know that would be the assumption. But he was they, he was actually getting the bass to eat in the trap, his bait. Yeah. And then when he would set the hook, the 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 flaps would open up to allow the fish to come through. Dude, that's trick. I I mean yeah. not not to give that you yeah, know che- him cheating points. Bad, Fair enough, <laughs> dude. Way yeah. better than a damn. Don't yeah, wait in the yeah. stomach of a wall. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's fish badass. fillets or not. This is way over. Right. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Crazy. And uh, he was. Uh, this went on. He won a half a million dollars in two years. Wow. Before he was banned, and that was his punishment. Like none, nobody that I'm aware of has been jailed, prosecuted, or prosecuted. Right. Dang. Just by the organization saying. You're you you're banned. Fish. You're eliminated. Wow. Or like uh, fined. Yeah. Like some small fines uh, going on. Jake oh. and Brian Carpenter. Tony Christensen. Christian. Write that in your notes. Tony Christian. Christian, Christian as the next guest on Ike Live. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to say there's someone in kayak that's been. Yeah, I remember there was one guy. Wouldn't he uh, cut the tails off a of bass yes. and then cover his hand up? Yep. Oh yeah, I saw Whoa. that. You didn't hear, Did about, hear about that, that? Oh, I no. saw that. Really? Yeah, kayaks had some. No, I heard of the boards being bent. Uh, the catch, there was that catch boards being bent or altered. No, what the, the guy would yeah. do is he would cut the tail off, and you know how you cover the fish's body with yeah, your hand. Yeah. He would move it, move it up just an inch so that there's just empty space where your hand is covering. Yeah. So like he caught a fish longer. that had like a long, like yeah. good tail. Yep. Yeah. Cut the tail off of it, and on your smaller fish, like a 13, 14 incher. Put the tail on where you're allowed to hold by the tail. So cover the part where the tail is on that fish. Give it that tail. You get an extra two inches. Whoa. That dude was caught with, like, fish tails in his kayak. They had him dead to rights. And I I believe, I'm not 100%, believe he was put in jail. You will get caught. You will get caught. I I was researching that Utah had a situation where they they had fish that that were – uh, the Mormons? They, they look different. <laughs> like, you, it was so crazy. Like, they had the, the pink fins, 
like they had been kept in a cage forever and ever yeah. and mm. and they actually sampled them and were testing the genealogy of the DNA Whoa. of the fish trying to trying to prosecute those guys and uh, wow, you will get caught yeah you will get caught yeah well it's it, it either way this was an incredible thing because mm. I think Brian you said it it was caught on film right it yeah. was caught on camera it was Pretty pretty unique because we've had these things before, Pete. That was a big list, but none of those were caught technically on film, right? This yeah. is the first one, this right? Like like straight on the spot, on the spot, busted on the spot, busted. standing there with yeah. an angry mob. Yeah, lynch mob. Yeah, sound like South Flames. Park, right yeah. behind them. Yeah, wow, crazy. Yeah, it's dope. That is crazy. Perks well, we'll see how it changes era. the world. I would real quick just to get back to the thing with bass. I would say my take on uh, letting the guys out by themselves, whether it's in an open or an elite, is the or the league has to take responsibility of capturing that content, not the anglers, right? So if a you know if you mm -hmm. have a field of a hundred elite anglers and you only have eight marshals or eighty marshals, those twenty guys that go out by themselves, they should all have cameras on their boats that are league initiated cameras that are set up and recorded by the league on your boat, not by you. That's the way to handle that because that still freaks me out. I don't like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I don't like an elite. I, and not, I'm not saying, you know, I, 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 I met most of the elite guys. I think they're good guys. But money changes people, man. Money does yeah. put and people in the spot. I don't want anybody going out fishing by themselves without a check and balance. If you can't get a guy to co-angler co or marshal in that boat, Set a the league's responsibility to set that camera in there, not the angler's responsibility. They're just dumb fishermen. <laughs> that's a good so point. So I tasked the league with that. No, you're right about that, point. dude. I, I tasked the league with that. I, I the anglers got to pay. Their responsibility. They're making enough money. Spend the money on that. You know, you're trying to put a lot of money in your pockets. I get it. Spend the extra money. You have to have a camera on those boats. Well, you got you got we got to keep it honest, and and for the most part we we do, but. You know, people are going to bend the rules. They're yeah. going to constantly try to bend yeah. the rules. That and get rid of active target. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a joke. <laughs> I just wanted to fire people off on that one. That one was a joke. I'm not kidding about that. I'm just kidding about that one. But, uh, man, what a what a guest. Yeah. What a, what a what a what a guest. What a uh, what amazing. What thing. an event. To, yeah, fishing that I, took place. It's crazy. Pretty crazy. Pretty wild. Um, Last chance, guys, if you're watching, we're, we're getting close to the end here. If you're watching still on Facebook, like and share the feed. If you do that, you've got a little bit of time here. We're going to enter you in a contest to win the Ike Live gift bag uh, if you're watching over on Facebook. Uh, we have anything that came through? You want any, anything unique, um, oh, Jake? A lot that of came shit. Through? You want to yeah. put a couple through, and then I'd like to open this Mr. Tackle Box. Uh, we'll pass it around a little bit. What do you got? From uh, our local news sources on the message board. <laughs> they said there were some high school kids in Texas that were caught. Uh, high school kids? Yeah. Oh, pulling, man. Pulling fish from a basket. No. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That's bad. Remember, it's been a year for cheating. That's it's bad. Has it? There's been a bunch of stuff. Yeah, the high school thing just bummed me out, though. That was like a week. That was like a Wednesday nighter, I thought. Yeah, it was like a little, yeah. little oh, tournament. That bums me out. Yeah. That bums me out. Again, golf. Yeah. <laughs> Send them to the golf. Out. I hate that. <laughs> Give them a basketball. <laughs> Here, Close, go dribble this. What else you got, Jake? And uh, don't use tungsten. It costs more than your tournament entry. <laughs> <laughs> don't use tungsten to stuff a fish? Yeah, still use lead. <laughs> <laughs> eight pounds. I wonder how much eight pounds of tungsten would cost. I don't know. Good uh, it's <laughs> smaller, though. <laughs> it's smaller. <laughs> Easier to don't buy. listen. Easier I know. I'm listen. not saying it. I'm just saying <laughs> tungsten is smaller than lead. But yeah, what does eight pounds of Jake? You sell you, you sell tungsten? You're at a dollar. You're at uh ten bucks for an ounce. So you're at one hundred and sixty dollars. Wait, wait. A pound. Ten a pound. Ten bucks a pound or ten bucks an ounce? Not ten, ten bucks an ounce. So you're at one hundred and sixty dollars a pound. Wait, wait. Ten bucks an ounce? A one it's ounce not tungsten possible. weight. One single one ounce tungsten weight is ten bucks. Yeah, through the retail. Yeah, retail. Yeah. Well, you don't pay for shit. No, I have no idea. <laughs> no, wait a minute. That's You're legit. Not, that's wait a minute. Guys aren't paying 
ten dollars for a single ounce weight. Sure, are they? they are. Oh, definitely. Yes. they are. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know. I don't pay for shit. You're right. You son of a bitch. I Look know. what you're doing to your people. <laughs> I mean, I get I get VMC. You need to you're, pay work with, you're peddling that well, shit, bullshit. dude. They work with VMC forever. Uh, you should know. I don't know. <laughs> you're peddling that dude, shit. No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is it really that much? <laughs> oh, yeah. God, I feel bad now. Try an ounce should. And a Repent. Ounce and a half. Repent. I feel bad. I actually feel bad now. Uh, Paul, pray for him. Damn, well, I've been breaking weights off like they were nothing. I feel bad now. And, 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 then, and then people out. like me got to buy it. Oh, you don't have to worry about buying it. Oh, man. Why do why we even bring this shit up? Now Paul's crawling over guardrails. Oh, man. That's $160. $10, $10 for a weight? For a one-ounce weight? I don't oh use dunks. Seven dollars on Tackle Warehouse. Shop Dude, there. Dude, it'd be twelve. Oh. It'd be twelve hundred dollars for eight pounds of tungsten. Wow. Uh-huh. Huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Twelve dollars for lid. <laughs> Jeez. Twelve hundred dollars. This is a, a, a. Let me throw this out there real quick. This is a whole. This is more of a BU live uh, part. But what the lead? There <laughs> are times when lead is better than tungsten. That's yeah. a BU topic. I, Bob Sully came on and was t- telling us about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I think that is a cool topic because so there cool. are times when lead's better than tungsten. Yeah. What do you think? I'm intrigued. You're right. Because I'm so gung-ho on tungsten. Yeah. Carolina rigging. There are well, times. I, I, Larry, snagging and rocks. Dude, I, I, Come back to me on it. <laughs> I had a, a the guy I was paired with. Come uh, back to me. Nathan Troyanek. Shout out to homeboy. Shout out Nathan. He, uh, he, was, he was drop shot with like freaking 10 or something. His his weights were like this big, giant. I'm, I'm exaggerating. Cannonballs. But guess who wasn't getting snagged? Right. Mm. Oh on. yeah, let me get tungsten so we can get uh-huh. every freaking nook and cranny. I'm gonna go Larry oh, Nixon the fuck on out of here with that Larry shit. Nixon Larry Nixon, a, a, a Bash University seminar uses lead on the lightweights, like in the whenever he's using a a, a bullet sinker in the sixteenth and eighth, right, and right. even quarter. Because it matches up better yeah. with the bait. It's true. It's a better streamlined It's a more package. streamlined because the tungsten's so tiny, it looks awkward. Tiny. It doesn't look and there's, natural. There's like a lip, too, that yeah. causes snagging. So the bigger ah. the bigger uh, lead is a benefit in wow. the lighter weights. Uh, Jake Market. This is a whole huh. BU seminar. We're doing the next BU Live. <laughs> Send it right to Rose. Yeah, this isn't like Live. It doesn't involve any curse words, so we don't want to talk about I it. I can here. curse. All right. This is the cool part of the show. If you're still hanging in there with us, thank you for watching tonight. We've had a great show, of course. So we got Bailey uh, talking about all great stuff, and we had the walleye thing, which we kind of – I think we figured that out a little bit. That was kind of cool. Uh, but this is uh, – we're the only live podcast, Pete, that does a MTB unboxing. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that. We are. Well, I guess I did know that. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> this an every show. Yes. So we are doing a <laughs> MTB Elite unboxing tonight. This is my favorite part. Pete, you know I put the mic real close. Yeah. Here's the seal breaking. You ready? Oh, wait. Paul, listen. Wait. Wow, oh, did you hear there that? Yeah, yeah. I heard it. And uh, we're going to pass this around. Pete, you know how the game works. We're going to pass it around. We're going to grab a bait, grab whatever bait you want, something to catch your eye, and we're going to talk about it. Bailey's our guest, so we're going to start with Bailey tonight. I like right. it. We're going to start with Bailey. Oh, Bailey, boy. pick one thing out. Thank you, sir. We'll pass it over to Paul, and we'll just keep going around. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> ah. Take this from you, suckers. Oh, you got a good oh. one, didn't you? Oh, I, I did. see you hiding it, too. Yeah. Right. What do you got? What do you got, got Bailey? I got a Bass Reaper Bait Co. It's a icicle. It's a drop Ooh. shot bait. Ooh. 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 What's that? It's a long drop shot bait. It is. Look like at six It's got like bait. a spade tail. It does. I can't, yeah. It almost reminds me of the old jelly worm. You remember the jelly worm tail? Dude, I do. I just watched an episode. Dude, very about similar. About the jelly worm. Thank you, Paul. Very Yeah, it's similar. almost like an arrowhead at the end of the tail. Look at that. Kind of like your stick worm that you put like a like a cover shot, like an EWG style hook on. Yeah. Drop shot in grass or something. And I got a uh, Phoenix Elite Series Arky jig. It's got a nice brown color, three eighth ounce. Ooh. I'm a I'm a jig kind of guy. Like caught some nice uh, now, fish on minute. jigs. Wait a minute. Is that hold on? Look at that. Let me see. This. Is that living rubber or silicone? Oh, it's silicone, but it almost looks living rubber. Yeah, it's a nice color wow. to it. Really natural Beautiful. color. Phoenix. Yep. Wow, I like that. All right, Pete. This was sort of 
like with Bailey winning on a frog today. I didn't get that frog. I saw I this. Yeah. And I was kind of like, yeah, I'm grabbing the frog. Yeah. Like uh, I'm surprised he didn't grab Paul, the frog. Paul, I didn't see like, there was a frog. How did he let that frog yeah, go yeah, by? But I just felt like the timing was right. Uh, this is a – Brian, how do you say this? Tatiki? Tataki. Tataki? Tataki, Tataki frog. Tataki? Yes. Tataki. And this is from 10,000 Fish, which I think is a Ketchco brand. Uh, this is uh, their tagline is roam the pads, roam the pads, and I've got a black and red frog. Hmm. Cool color combination, right? Popping or no popping? No popping, no popping. It's just a, a front faced frog. Paul, right, here, no popping. Here's pop my deal. Here's my deal. The softness is a big factor for me, oh, yeah. and I like this. Flaccid. I like this because it's soft. It's a nice flaccid frog. It's soft. Um, Two other things real quick that I noticed. <laughs> it has – the body is actually molded with little – you see that little yeah. inset? Big profile. Indents, yeah. So uh, the hook's actually set in little uh, depressions on the body. I like that. Last but not least, Pete, give me – you know what that is. You tell me so I, I don't seem like a fool when I that's tell like you. That's like LeMay. LeMay? <laughs> well, that stuff? Yeah. What is that? Lumafoil. L- Luma Flex. Luma Flex. Luma Flex. Is that what it is? Yes. That's It comes from LeMay. L- Does it come from LeMay? Uh, That's LeMay. a Becky thing, LeMay. Yeah. Gold is LeMay. That, is that cosmetics? <laughs> no. Nah, Gold LeMay? Remember remember those pants? old Ranger jerseys that we had with the f- the flashy yeah. like thing? That yeah. was LeMay. Crushed LeMay. velvet. All right. Whatever it is, Luma Flex, LeMay, or Flashaboo, whatever it is. Flashaboo. Uh, <laughs> Flashaboo. Jake Very cool. Thing. Very cool because I haven't seen that in a lot of frogs. I yeah. like that hmm. in combination with the silicone. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. I would definitely throw frog. that. Where where was the tournament that uh, Aaron Martin's won? Was it oh, Havasu? Shit. Uh, it was Havasu. With the black bird, black yes. and red birds. Black birds. There's your Dude, pattern. Dude, very close. Yeah. Black and orange, black and red. It's funny you say that. That's cause, a good looking frog. Because I was watching, frog, dude. I was watching the Len Dollar. Isn't he the guy? Yeah, Len Dollar. Yeah, yeah Len that, Dollar. That puts the uh, the old Bassmaster shows up. Oh yeah, up. all the old ones. Yeah. And and I went down a rabbit hole with them. Yeah. Uh, watched Clear Lake. And uh, Byron, the one Byron. No, won? no. Steve Kennedy. Steve Kennedy. Oh yeah. Oh man. What Dude. is this thing called? A Huddleston, man. Do you remember all the all the ones he had to let go? That oh, he yeah. Hooked outside the mouth? Hooked outside the mouth, yeah. He had that treble hook that kept oh, yeah. snagging him on the top of and the lip. And it didn't matter. It didn't it matter. It didn't matter. He was he catching, catching so many them. seven, eight pounders. didn't matter. He's like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. Outside the mouth. Yeah. Man. <laughs> and what happened? He won. He still won. Yeah, but, 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 but those but, days are over. Yeah. But then the, yeah. the Falcon, <laughs> I went. I watched that. I started this big fish thing, and oh, I watched yeah. Paul Elias win Carolina rig in a man's 12-inch jelly worm with that same tail. Those fish were dumb, hmm. man, let me tell you. Ugh. I remember that. Tournament. I can't imagine. Oh, my God, they were dumb. That must have been, Never been a magic worms. moment. Oh, God. Never been Shout out to Waba Hoagie Lady. Uh, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Well, here, here's, a got, bait. here's a bait that I would never throw. And ah! this <laughs> This is why I like this bait. <laughs> like I, I'm, I would see this and I'm like, the bill is almost as long as the bait. Yeah. Like little body, but super dives deep. little body dives super yes. deep. Good for winter fishing. And I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm excited that I, I would put this in my arsenal. I want to see what this does in the water. Yeah. I want to see how Jerk it bait. reacts. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, this, because. Th- at first look, I would be like, "Nah, it, it's not." But I, but now that I have it, I want to try it. Yeah, you know. I wonder how it performs around unique. those docks. You know the, the the Bagley's theory with the big bill. Yeah. You know, like severe angle to the bill to get that thing to go deep, quick, deep. I wonder how that would do. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder if it's a thumping even bait. I don't know. I, it's Reaction just, strike. It's interesting. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh. Jake, what do you got back there? I got uh, little 3.5 swim baits. We we actually got these in a prior box. Hmm. I took them out on a secret pond near here. What's the name of that? Is that Joko? This is the Joko Shaker. Joko. Yep. Okay. Jokers. I yeah. took these out on a uh, local pond that we're really close to right now. I actually caught a three-pounder on. Really? So, proven. Dang. Proven. Proven. Proven, folks. Try you can catch a fish that. in South Jersey doing wow. something. Oh, yeah. You can catch one. <laughs> yeah. And, and four pickerel, but that's besides the point. <laughs> pickerel. Yeah. Slime rockets. 
And I got Brian a shot of New Riff bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> is Bravo. it New Riff or is it Sex Panther? New Sex Panther. Oh, okay. New Sex Panther. <laughs> Dude, wow. shout it's out to smile. Bailey for coming down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving yeah. that ass. Yeah. Yeah, that's the second time. At least the second time because Ron Champion came down and won the, the event at Newton. He did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Are you saying, so, Brian, uh, are you saying Ike Live's lucky? Probably. Good I, picks. I, I, I think Something that's what you tried to say. But they're both kayak events. And uh, shout out to Jason Fisher for doing a masterful job that handling was, that That's was a sticky correct. situation, man. That's a sticky situation. And I, and honestly, I, I said it kiddingly, but I, I watched that video repeatedly where you could tell he was very upset and passionate. Yeah. But he did it in such a way where, you, you know, like, like the whole interview, he was like, look, these guys were fucked. It was terrible. But they're just they're <laughs> yeah. human beings. They make yeah. mistakes. And I, I got that from him the whole interview. He honestly, that's great. That's that, great that he has that ability to He somehow kept those guys alive. He kept them alive. He didn't punch them in the face himself. That could which I I'm telling he you could have done. It could have been a mob. It, it could have been, been a mob scene. It could have been horrible. Been. Yeah. Ah, how horrible, dude. <laughs> a broken a, no, yeah. stop. Nah. Could have been. Well, once once guys uh, get their you know yeah but these are these guys these once they get their blood up man yeah, you don't yeah. know a couple of broken noses goes a long way yeah. it, uh, it really goes to show the uh, genuine good humanity in the guy for not you know what I mean getting yeah. all blown out of proportion yeah. like I'm sure some of us would yeah. who would yeah. do that well, I mean, I mean the, the, the the story hit like Fox News and yeah. and the New York Times New York Times, New York Times. if it turned into a riot yeah it would have been bad yeah. press and yeah. TMZ. Yeah. It really it's already bad. It's but actually already bad oh, press, yeah. though. It's already bad press. The whole entire fishing industry is like 20 years behind mainstream America. That's true. And now you have something like this. We haven't had a fishing article in the New York Times since ESPN owned bass. And yeah. now the first article back on New York Times is this bullshit. Yeah. Well, that's what. That's a and problem. if that doesn't tell you, shut the freaking news off. Shut it all out of your life because it's all yeah, bullshit. It's all negativity. Off. Or, ah. or are we? Why doing would you watch it? it? Yeah. Or are we doing a bad job in the fishing industry on getting our good news and our good messages to mainstream media? And I would argue to what say, what would the good are. message be? Somebody caught a bass today. I don't know. I mean, we're conservation. New kids fishing, diversity in fishing, okay. conservation. We talked about the good yeah, message. Winner of the classic. Like, why the hell isn't major why, events? Why the hell aren't the turn? And I won't even throw any of them directly under the bus. But why aren't the tournament organizations hiring a, a, a PR agency, Gunpowder, camera off to get mainstream coverage anymore? What happened to that? Where'd that I, go? I I was why in, I was huh. in the boat. Uh, my first class or my second classic with a writer from the New York Times. Me too. My first classic, I had a writer from the New York Times. Yeah. Why? Why aren't they doing That's that? That's an even more interesting challenge with this industry, with the Times being like, if you go, you know, Pete with your TikTok, you go <laughs> post stuff, like people are like anti hunting, anti fishing. Oh. They are. And like There's some of segment. these outlets are like Karen's. the same way. They won't even oh, yeah. touch on Too many Karens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, look at, look yeah, they're at, looking for a negative too story. Too many people that Ike had to deal yeah, with. Yeah, I had to deal with yeah. Look at Dick's Sporting Goods. Great example. So I, yeah. I worked at Dick's, and then I was able to parlay that to a sponsorship with Dick's. Well, Christ, there's Dick's now that don't even carry fishing shit because of that. Mm -hmm. Because they bow down to the pressure of what Bailey just said. I called a Dick's. Where was I? Oh, my God. Where was I? I called a Dick's because I was looking for something. Tackle Warehouse didn't have it. I started, like, panic and call all around. I called a Dix for something fishing. And they're like, hello, Dix Sporting Goods. Can you connect me to the fishing department? We don't have a hunting and fishing department here anymore. What? Dude, yeah. Dix was started yeah. as a hunting and fishing store in yeah. the 40s by Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Dick. Dicker. Uh, yeah. Can't remember his last name now. <laughs> Dick D whatever. Dick Dickinson. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I got a question. You don't for have you. a hunting and fishing department. It all started. Are you when fucking kidding me? Well, yeah, I, I mean, mean, they have field and stream. Like they're like that. Yeah, if some stores have field and stream. Some stores got rid of it. It started when Dick stopped selling. 
firearms, and that's what the trickle down effect. That's what no I'm good. Uh, let's not let's bad. not go this road because I'll say Biden, and then and somebody will get offended on whatever. The Dick, oh yeah, yeah. Dick yeah. Stack. Yeah. Brian Carpenter. No politics, no religion on this show. Oliver Nye said he caught a bass once in South Jersey. It's on the <laughs> message board. Oh, once. Shout out to boy. Oliver. Shout out to Oliver Nye. One bass, one time. South That's Jersey. That's right. I got an off-topic question. Yeah. So while we got old school and new school in the building, Woo! who is your voice of bass, B-A-S-S? When you think of the guy that when you hear a tournament, who do you hear? In bass? In B A S S. Why? I, I'm an old school guy, so all my guys are old school guys. You know, I when I think of bass, I think of I think of Ray Scott, I think of I think of the video that I watched when I was uh, like a kid, like younger than Bailey, like 15, 16, 17, and it was Brian knows it was. It was like that. Remember that theme, the yeah. build up. And it was always like, it was like the Bassmaster uh, commercial, where l- the last clip was Larry Nixon at Mega Bucks, and it was like an Big eight pounder that fish. jumped. Yeah. But it oh, was, that pistol grip, right? Yeah. yeah. And then it was like after the, it was Bob Cobb, and he was always so matter of fact. He was like, "We're at Gunnersville Lake," and you know what I mean? It was like, dude, that's to me, that's bass. Like, yeah. that's what I remember. Cause but it's because it, it's because when I was a kid, it was yeah. like, dude, when you're a kid, everything that happens is a memory, you know? Yeah. I think Mercer's old, done a great job with it. Oh, Mercer's done great. Yeah. Mercer's done a great job of parlaying it yeah. to the now, you know? Yeah. Because what I, I, what I hear yeah. when I think of, you know, the, the BASS is Tommy Sanders every day yeah. of the week. Oh, because, Sanders is great. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's what I've heard for as long as I've been growing up. Oh, yeah. And it's just that difference of what you hear versus what Pete hears versus what we hear. Yeah. You know, being 20-some. Yeah. I loved going back and watching the stuff that I watched today, you know, and, and it was awesome. The old school. And and it, it yeah. was. It was – but it was uh, Tommy Sanders was looking very young, and he's just steadily – he, he's like the baseline, man. He's like got to be there yeah. in everything. He's good. He's really he's good. He's good. Here's the thing about Tom. T- Tommy Sanders is good. He's a great personality. He understands the sport enough to be able to to to, to roll into yeah. other people who know it better. Right? Yes. And he, yes. And he passes that baton well. He does. At the yeah. exact mm-hmm. right moment. Yeah. yeah. And I got to say this. The, um, the guy at MLF. Like if he's a hockey player, he'd have as many goals as assists. He would. Yeah, he wouldn't be a straight yeah. assist guy, right. or he wouldn't be a ball hog. You're right. But I gotta say this: the guy at MLF, Chris what's Jones? his name? I can't Chris Jones him. does the way. Not Chris Jones. Uh, the guy at uh, Bass Pro Tour, the the MC guy. Oh when, yeah. Oh. He's really good. If you're watching Bobby. right now, not? still, please send it through. But gosh, I can't believe he's he really good. He is. He's really good. He's because a pro. Here's the thing. So when I was in MLF, you know, I know the whole thing. Like he came in and hired him as an announcer from another sport. Like he had worked for golf, like golf or motocross or whatever it was. But he's a great voice and he's great at like reading a prompter and he can speak like he's great on camera. Right. Chad McKee. Chad McKee. He's really good. Super good. And I love Chad. Shout out to Chad for being a great you know, at, at that job. He's great. But the, the thing that pissed me off and, like, it sticks with me is there was a tournament the second year I fished with MLF. Remember what the year that uh, there were two tournaments in a row back-to-back on Table Rock? Do you remember that? Yes. You do remember that, I right? Do. I do. Yeah. There was a Table Rock tournament, and then we were supposed to go somewhere. It was a cancellation. But it was right? a cancellation, and we went back to Table Rock. Yeah. So, dude, I was – this is I've never talked about this, but dude, I was so vocal. I'm like, when they canceled that other one, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was so so livid because all the anglers were like, well, cancel. You got we gotta go. We'll go like a week later. But TV and media and all these things controlled when the next tournament would happen. And the deciding factor was Chad McKee. What? Yes. How's that? 
because he was not available that week. And because of that, we had to go back to Table Rock. Dude, I will never forgive <laughs> MLF Bass Pro Tour Chad McKee. I will never forgive them motherfuckers for that. Oh. Because it pissed me off. Because it, a tournament league should not operate under the constraints of a person that doesn't even fish. He's like, right. the, he's like the Chuck Norris of dodgeball. I'm just saying, and I love him. I think he does a great job. Dude, What a, he's great. He's great. I watched the show. I love it. Uh, he's way better uh, than a lot of people. Uh, no, he's good. <laughs> right, he's good. Dude. Bullshit. Uh, nah, Shelly Sanders all day, bro. She's got boobs. Good <laughs> Good point. But listen. Yeah, the, the, dude, the he's good. Bad move on their part. They lost me right there. Dude, you can't. You can't. Um, it can't be based on the availability of a guy that's a voice the host on out. the show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's wrong. You guys, the angle is the product. That's wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Bailey, that's exactly right. You can't base, and and that was like, that was one of the, the knives yeah. that killed me over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there was a lot. I'll it be honest. Like, for me, it, 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 I can tell that he doesn't come from fishing. He doesn't come from fishing. It, it's obvious to me, and, and it doesn't have the same feel. No. And no offense to him. He's very, he's very good. Uh, he's very professional. But I can tell. But Tommy I'd rather Sanders have is, somebody that's, 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 that makes mistakes and is rough and raw, but comes from the sport. All right, but I don't me, need that fucking guy. Let me be the. You know what I mean? Let me be devil's advocate here. Pete's always devil's advocate. Tommy <laughs> Sanders has not come from fishing. He's not a hardcore fish. He's head been either. here for a long time. He's been here dude. for a long time, but he's not a fish head. Yeah, he is not a fish head. Chad's awesome, man. I'm telling you, he he, he probably made, is. He helps <laughs> the. He marries. I like all that Chad. talent. Like he 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 gets JT. Oh, he's a guys dude. Working he's together. as yeah, good as they get. Yeah, he puts peanut butter really and good. sand together, and he's, he's as really good as good. they get. Makes a yeah. sandwich out but of it. But when they blame that whole thing on him, it was the end for me. It was the yeah. end of it. Well, they. It was the end of it. I, that's I understand you being upset, but let me let me go back to something that's positive. Okay. Uh, why would we do that? Why watching? That's a bunch of bullshit, Pete. I know you want to rant, <laughs> but. You know, it's the, Sunday night. I, just, I did. I want to. I want to Come agree. On, with, I want to agree with you because Tommy Sanders was on these old shows. Uh, Jerry McKinnis was doing his Bash University style commentary. Yeah. Zona wasn't there. Yes. Right. Oh my gosh, his absence was palpable. Like yeah. palpable. Like Zona, where yeah. like oh my gosh, yeah. how awesome yeah, oh of yeah. an addition. He was He's the great. Bassmasters, yeah. uh, you know. So and and the other one. So it's like Bass U without BTC. Let me tell. <laughs> there it is. It <laughs> was. It but like we had. Uh, Come on, Pete. <laughs> Let that one sit. But the other the other one was uh, like no. Ray Scott. No. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> then Keith. Uh, Keith Allen. Keith, Keith Allen. Allen. Yes. Keith Allen was great. Keith Thomas. And Keith. then you see Dave Mercer, bring breathe life, just breathe it. It took. It it seemed like it took a little while, yeah. But oh my gosh, does he breathe life into oh, yeah. it now? He brings character, so much energy, and and Mercer to me, to me now is you know is, I think is, he's awesome. Is the voice I, I think hear. Mercer's awesome. I think Zone you know? is awesome. Yeah. I, agree. I think Zone is awesome. Let me tell you this about Zona, and I'll say this real quick, dude. Is Zona the smartest dude in all of fishing? Yes, for you staying. Know. Just for staying and for accepting, like, what he does. Yes. Because if you remember, Bailey, think back. Zona at one time was your age mm -hmm. in his <laughs> 20s. Mark Zona was one time your age. Let that sink in. <laughs> no. But he was as good as you were. Dude, I fish with Zona. Tournament angler. Dude, yeah. Zona is a badass top ten. Oh, way better. Dude, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's like you. He's dialed. Dude, Zona's fucking dialed. Like, he's good. He could compete, right? But at some point, Zona said he, you know, he's like buddies with real tight with Kevin. He's real, you know, he's mm -hmm. he's good friends with everyone in the fishing industry at this point. But he's like, nah, dude, I'm just gonna do my thing, do my show, got my family, everything's good. You know what yep. I mean? Like mm -hmm. that was on an iClive show, wasn't it? When he dialed into all that. Pretty much. Like yeah. he's probably the smartest dude in the whole industry of yeah. fishing. Yeah. I really believe I, that. I talked to him and others about it. Like, don't you miss it? Like, 
Like I loved fishing the Chesapeake, yeah. the Northern Opens. Yeah, I I don't I don't know how you not do it. S- compete at some level. You're like saying. just how it's so much fun. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I like I, I like know. like I come alive like when I'm there. And right. When the pressure's on and it's exciting. You right. Know? Had, Those moments, the launch, the yeah. way in, the last cast. Yeah. yeah. There's times yeah. when it sucks. You know, you can't find the fish. Yeah. This, this whole year. Sucks. For me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You fucking crushed the open. Getting chased there by the yeah. uh, Aberdeen guys on the last day. Yeah. 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 I remember. Yeah. You know, but yeah. but but yeah. they were Aberdeen able guys able to walk. Like they don't want to go I don't back talk to about it. That, Brian. <laughs> did you did you go in there during the derp? No, I didn't go in there. I was fucking running back from Middle River. Do we need to call Jason in to have a final decision on no, this? No, no final decision. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who's Jason? The guy we had on earlier. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy. Keep up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is oh, a you, great. Br- you do shots, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to BT. Let's start drinking. <laughs> this is a uh, <laughs> this is a great segue, dude. What a great show, Brian De Carpenter. Here's the thing. Let me bring this up real quick. What a, what a great way to 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 get toward the end of the show. Of course, we got to pick a uh, we got to pick a winner. Shout, yeah. shout out, serious angler. Yeah, but let me let me get. To yeah, this. we didn't get those podcasts. Yeah. Oh, we didn't. No. <laughs> I know. There's so much we missed. Jesus. Dude, he's had a podcast how many years now? It's three, in the notes. Three. Three years. 300 how, shows. He's over 300 shows. We're coming up on 10 years. Right. <laughs> We're at about half that. But let me. But, but here's the difference. Let me highlight Yeah, you're the competing professionally. I get it. Quality no, over no, quantity. No, there's more difference than that. <laughs> and, Bailey, that's awesome. That's great. Thank because, you. Thank you. yes. That's a hustle and That is hustle. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Hustle's great. And Pete knows, like, young people that, you know, and I can say this with my own kids and, and you know, throwing myself under the bus. Less hustle in young people today. So it's great to see it. Absolutely. Yes. It's great people. to I love see that. Yeah, another round of applause. And that great. hustle is a positive thing. It Not is a hustle. Posi- is like positive. like you're stuffing yeah. weights in a walleye. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Different kind of hustle. hustle. Right. In a, in a different <laughs> way. But uh, w- where was I going with this? Oh, the difference in podcasts. The difference in podcasts. And – you know, I honestly, Bill, I don't know yours in particular, but a lot of the podcasts out there right now are very traditional podcasts. Mm-hmm. They come on. It's it's, you know, one on one. It's a, you know, a 40 minute podcast. Dude, we are not a 40. By <laughs> fuck, we've been doing almost 10 years. This is the theatrics, bro. <laughs> Dude, do you realize it's 12? It's almost 12 o'clock at night. Get the hell out of here. Hell fucking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, we've done less shows, but dude, this is content. This is substance. That's right. Dude, quality and we haven't ruined. Quantity. That's right. Dude, <laughs> quality, quality. Listen, we have we've been on this long. We haven't been fired yet by anybody, which is I don't know why. And your career's pushed, still active. Yeah, my career's still active. We pushed the line every show, but <laughs> no cancellations. Dude, people will watch, and I love this about Ike Live. People will watch. We've got people right now listening to this. They're like, yeah, that's me. They've been huh. listening. From the very beginning, for three, four freaking hours, that's that's powerful. And thank you, guys. If you're watching and you're that person, thank you, dude, because it's been awesome. I love this show because of that. We're different. We got a different show here. We're characters. It's a different (laughs) show. And that's the difference, Brian. That's why we don't have 852 podcasts. That's right. And we're coming up on 10 years this February. (laughs) Oh, Pete! 10 years? Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I do tenuous. something special for that one, man. Dude. Holy crap. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yep. And I like where we're at now. We've advanced. Still, we've changed. I still, cool. I, I still have nightmares about the Ed Bassmaster episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that we was just, an early one. Yeah, I'm comfortable. I was at his house strange, last night, and I, and I brought that up, how he makes – how I was like, Ed, you know how bad you make – how uncomfortable we make Pete feel. <laughs> <laughs> Jason just found that episode, episode number one. Wow. And it'll be uploaded when I upload this one. Yeah. I had I had to listen to the whole thing though, make yeah. sure, you know, we could pass through the system. Was but that episode one? It was, it was episode one. Wow. And and the yep. episode non episode Trent Cole episode. Trent Cole <laughs> was an episode that would never happen yep. because it's only uh, we only know that episode. Because it never recorded. It never recorded or wow. went out on the airwaves. So was that a fit that, that was, was like two. No, that was like three or four. Three or four. Uh, Randy right. Howe was episode two. Episode two. Randy so Howe we did two. the very first show the weekend you were leaving for the classic. Yeah. That day your boat and truck were arriving wrapped for wrapped. the first time. Yeah. You had a photo shoot going on. And Mark Jeffries was here 
finishing the touches on the studio. It's wow. like all that was going on, and you were leaving the next day for the classic. That was show Typical. one. When you, Typical. Yeah. yeah. And when you came back, we had Randy who, on who won on a on a Livingston crankbait. Livingston DT. Hmm. DT6. DT6 <laughs> crankbait and demon. That's right. On the riprap. And, uh, and Randy yeah. was our first guest. <laughs> Randy was first <laughs> guest. <laughs> and we learned early on. <laughs> Bailey, I, don't, I don't know if you've learned this or not. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> the controlling uh, factor of a guest. Like, you know, it was like early on in our podcast. It was great because. We didn't know what we were doing. I we never. I didn't yeah. even know what a podcast was. I never even. I yeah. didn't even listen to podcast. I didn't know what the hell what I was doing. But we have Randy on, and Randy just talked for like an hour and a half, and we were just kind of like, we just <laughs> sat back, almost like what's going on, tranquilized. Right? Like, by yeah. what? are you going to interrupt him? Should we interrupt him? I know. Yeah. Yeah. What are we supposed to do? Kind of like me today. Yeah, kind of like me. Like, I didn't know any better. Yeah. Paul, you'll get better. The only time interrupt. Paul spoke yeah. up and interrupted anybody was in between parts one and two of my question. But I clearly <laughs> well, said, I, well, I know. all right, I got well, two well, things here. I know here. I can get away with interrupting <laughs> you. Right. I don't want to interrupt Mike or me. Paul, praise on the week. Paul, he controls your microphone, bro. Son of a bitch. That's hurtful, Mike. No, I'm just messing around. And that's why I didn't go pro. No, yeah, I know. Good. But Paul, Paul will <laughs> learn the uh, the art of interrupting more as he gets <laughs> yeah. more of somebody it. else. Yeah. Otherwise, you're, you're Paul. You're, I mean, this is only your you'll be what, zooming seventh in from eight show here on out, Paul. Something like that. Third uh, one in studio. Third one in studio. Yeah. Seventh eight show. All right, you'll learn, Paul. Yeah. It's okay. Bailey, one of you'll, you'll learn to you know interrupt other people, yeah. or you'll be yeah. right. Yeah, I know. Will you yeah. stop Honestly, interrupting yeah. me like while you I'm just, trying to interrupt <laughs> you? Yeah, and you just interrupt Jake. Jake, what do you got? <laughs> one. Oh jeez. One of the. <laughs> oh, he just turned. Oh, he just don't turn, turn him off. off. That's bullshit. Don't tell me how to run the show. Whatever. Oh wow, he's striking back. Whatever. Now. <laughs> one of Bailey's better shows was the non-traditional three guys on mics arguing about swim bait heads. And it's something that you think like, ah, oh, no, I'm not going to listen to that. It was in-depth. Yeah. It kept you entertained. He, the guy saying, you're wrong, I throw this. And other guy said, no, you're wrong, I throw this. Now, I, now, see, I'm glad you said that because now I'm going to go back and listen to that specific episode. Yep. Are you never swim bait heads? Do you know what number that was? I can't remember. For okay, I'm it, it was but in I'll the, send it to you. You sent it to me, but it's out there. It's in it the is. it's in the multiverse. Yes, it's, it's in, in the, the mega space. structure of the moon. It's in the space. Somewhere. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story is the throw fake, the, the mega bass moon. one. The fake moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Head? With the spin head. Yeah. Uh, okay. But it goes in depth into why you throw certain sizes with a certain See, size I hook. Like, I like that argument. Like yeah. that's Pete. That's a BU argument. Is because the, I'm yes because I'm like ninety degree, sixty degree in line. Like I like that whole argument. I like that. I want to listen to that. I, I was on, I was on Bailey's yeah. podcast. That's he a was. BU argument. I like yep. it. Yep. I was, I was, oh, I, was Brian like this the whole time? He's one of the OGs. Yeah. Did, did he? Did he was he, like, "Why'd you guys call me?" Did he do this? <laughs> no, we did. We just <laughs> did some shit. For did an he? Hour. <laughs> did he speak? Did he, he speak? Did. Was he sweaty? Was he, he nervous? Did. No, no. What? <laughs> That's so weird. He was all in on it. Why is he sweaty in. and nervous on this show then? I ain't sweaty and nervous. Enough. Yes, you are. <laughs> no, he's yeah. drinking. <laughs> uh, too much. <laughs> the, the best part of our first show that's going to come out, uh, Mark says, yeah, Brian's figuring out how to push the buttons, and I want to save that clip and post it because <laughs> it's <laughs> still here 150 <laughs> shows later. Oh, that's so great. That's so great. <laughs> Fixed. No. But the point is, Brian, the point is, we don't have the most shows. We are definitely not the best show, and I know I've said that. I've said we're the best Fisher podcast ever. We're not the best. Nah. But, dude, we got – we nah. have something. <laughs> no, but 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 listen. Thanks. Hail to the nah. No. Thanks for the support. No, <laughs> but, <laughs> but seriously, we do have something here that's special. That's we do right. have substance here because Hell listen, yeah. dude, I I but, do a lot of you know, you you're, I'm out a lot, out and yeah. about, and people, you know, in the order of people, what people say, they never say, great job winning the classic in '03. Great job winning the Angle of the Year in 06. Great job of winning on the Delaware in 2014. They're like the highlights of my career. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Nobody even fucking remembers that, Paul. I, I gave a crap about that seven-pounder you call last year. Right. But they do say, we love the show. I love the show. And I say, what show? Because I want to know. Yeah. Be you. And it's always, it's always Ike Live or yeah. Be You or City Limits Fishing, yeah. which was 100 years old. So it is good. It's a good feeling. It, it is, is nice to hear that. Even though we're only 100 and whatever shows in <laughs> 10 years later. Nah, that's all good, dude. We got substance, bro. People right. relate Quality. to us. People like us. 
We're dumb. We drink beer. We curse. It's good, man. People like that shit. Yep. Regular it's dudes. It's real. Regular dudes that don't stuff weights and weights and fish. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Got to right. catch them to stuff them. Yeah. I mean. Damn. You know. <laughs> yeah. Your dad, Jake, said in the uh -oh. last. Uh, so we had the last Ike Foundation youth event. Not not youth like uh, little kids youth, but youth uh, high school junior tournament event. And your dad was out there and we're both sucking ass on Union. And he's like, how you doing? I'm like, I just gave him the. Thumbs down because my I felt bad for my guys. They were two high school kids and they weren't really catching them. Like I just went like this, and he goes, "If you're not scoping, w wait, what did he say? Yeah, he if said, you scoping, if you're not you're scoping, hoping. you're hoping." <laughs> and I was like, "Damn, you're kind of right, you know." And I was like, <laughs> I felt bad, and then I was like thinking, and I'm like, "Man, I want an AOY to classic, not scoping." I was like, yeah. "I want those hoping, yep. you know." Yep. I'm like you can still catch some hoping. That's all I yeah. did from the bank. Yeah, and you hoped today, right? That's right. You didn't. Hoped. You didn't scope any, did you? Hoped them all with a frog. Hoped them all with a frog. Your your kayak is rigged, though, right? You got two graphs on. No, it? he's rigged, but he didn't. Yeah. He didn't scope. Not today, today, but he hoped. Oh, it was today. I wasn't sure what to expect, so I I, t I packed that thing to the brim just to throw one rod all day. <laughs> what do you got on that? Like two two graphs? I got two Humbird Helix units, Mega Live, a bunch of crap that I didn't need today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's dope. And hey, it's $3,700. Good to have it, just in case. Keith Poche, he's not scoping. Does not need scoping. He doesn't even have transducers on his oh. <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Should I say this or no? I have no idea. Uh, probably uh, not, if you got to ask me. No, yeah, go you should. It. Let yeah, me just say it real it. quick. You should say it. So, and I say this, t this is, let me preface this because <laughs> people will rewind uh -oh. this and butcher me. Oh, this boy. is kidding. This is like, funny you know uh -huh. we try to be tongue-in-cheek uh -huh. shit yeah so my concept was let's do a show where we interview a pulley oh a pulley system you know a pulley yeah like and we put the pulley in that chair you're in right there and put the headphones on the pulley and we interview the pulley about keith poche's win <laughs> 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 it was just a joke. It on was just all a joke, you on, know? On whether it was used appropriately? You I, mean? I mean, yeah. We could ask the pulley a lot of questions about that win <laughs> on the on the Red River. Mm. It was just a, it was kind of a joke. But, but I thought Dave it wasn't funny. here. He's in Florida. Right. Running a marathon. Right. <laughs> as Goofy. Right. So we couldn't do, do it. You, do you think, uh, how pissed would you have been if rocks were Oh, in that's horrific! On your spot. Oh, that's that's Going not good. That's day. that's crap. That's crap. That's not right. If that happened, that's not right. I don't know the whole story. I don't even want to get into it. this whole another show. We can go for another hour, but yeah. that's not right. But that's then bullshit. to call someone that's not in the tournament to have the rocks removed is also not right. That happened. I don't know. Bailey. Well. So uh, I, this isn't fact. This is just what I've heard from other shows he's been on. I've talked to Keith, but I haven't specifically talked about this because I just don't want to get in the middle. Right. Of it. Uh, but I, I believe I heard it was I think it was BTL that fans had jumped in that were following him, jumped in and moved the rocks. Okay. Right. So if he wasn't involved at all, yeah. it's all good. It's all good, and that's that's fine. Like if fans were like, "This is bullshit," you know, it wasn't. In, in, induced by him, it's cool. But if he made a call or a text and said, get rid of those rocks, I have so, a problem with that. So if, like on the Delaware, fans were involved to keep people from fishing, yeah, right? Like we were out there making sure guys weren't – like because the Delaware is yeah. – the, the Delaware – let's be honest. There's no reason to, be, to fish the Delaware River. Right. Pretty much ever. Ever. It's <laughs> the worst. Pretty much ever. <laughs> yeah. Right? But then to show up on the Doha River during the only Bassmaster right. tournament that's ever going to show yes. up there, and you're going to be fishing some juice. Right. Fuck you, dude. Right. That's wrong. <laughs> like, but, seriously. Right. So, and like, here's and a great that analogy. That dude's got a tiny little, right. teeny little one. Yeah. And you guys you guys had out had a lot yeah. of those guys, but I didn't induce it. Fine. Totally no, you fine. weren't even around. That that. Cruz, John Cruz was in that area and some other guys. Right. Byron with his shirt off. Right. Byron with his shirt off. Yeah. Yeah. But those guys, they, they had no business being out there. They had no business there was, being out there. They, they were there but for one reason, to try to measure our, penises. But <laughs> the, the people, that the viewers, 
spectators influenced the outcome of that tournament by right. ch- by chasing them guys off. They did. Damn right. But and not, we also but it, but it influenced wasn't induced by the wasn't competitor. induced by the competitor. But we also influenced the outcome if we don't chase them off. That's no. true. Yes. Yes, that is true. Well, <laughs> well, that's true. Yes. But you're but you took action. Fucking right. Dude. On behalf of on, beh- on behalf of right of and whoever. wrong. On behalf of right and wrong. Well, Flat. Well, yeah. let let's not take, arguable. Let's take this quick second and we can change it back to I want to do a show. I would like to do a show on exactly this topic. I want to do a whole fucking show on this topic. Because I got butchered for it at Kentucky Lake this year oh, for yeah, saying yeah, this shit. Mm-hmm. And yep. it's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Talk to me. Dude, if y- <laughs> there were dudes on Kentucky Lake this year. I sucked. I fell I I had a horrible tournament. I hurt my it was terrible for me. All right. There were dudes out there fishing three, four to a boat on the ledges, cranking like it was they were in like it they, was were, 1999. they were fishing for the classic. <laughs> That's right. It's bullshit to me. Three to four on a boat. What do you mean by that? Three to four dudes on a boat on a fully rigged Phoenix power pole. Are you saying they were practicing for somebody? No. I'm saying they were out there to try to catch more than the elite guys. In Uh, their soul, that's what they wanted. They wanted to prove uh, they could catch more than the elite guys. That was the big controversial video. I'm saying it was never, ever, ever my intention to say that you can't be on a public fishery. Yeah. Pete, I fucking know that. Are you kidding me? I come from Jersey. There's more douchebags in this state than anywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. Bailey, I would never BBP. say that. BBP. I'm not saying. <laughs> All I, in. Dude, I, well, you know, I'm a bank fisherman, too. You yeah. know that. Yeah, you fish everywhere, yeah. Dude, I would never say you cannot fish on a public fishery. My point was, why would you go on Kentucky? Uh, why would you go on um what, what, what lake were we on? Fucking Pickwick. Why would you go on Pickwick with two, three, four dudes on your boat and crank away like you were in a tournament during the event if you were a fan of bass and you were a fan of bass fishing? Why? That's all I'm saying. I, I'm with you, you go, Mike. Man. Right. I, I you know, heard me I know say it's, before. I know it goes back and forth. I don't give a fuck. You, no, I, I, know, you, I know. I know. You heard me say it before. Yeah. Dude, if you're, if you're with your 90-year-old grandfather that's got a, a year left – to fish yeah go different for story it. you're with yeah. your kids dude if you're with your yeah. kids go for it yeah. if you're out you there plan this week and go for your it. week yeah. go for it if you're with your wife if yeah. you're idling around graphing because you have a bfl the next week yeah. go for it love you man go for it you're working your ass off if you're out there and you have no other reason to be out there except to beat the elites Fuck you, you motherfucker. Uh, there it is, all, man. all they want to do is boost their <laughs> ego. Cut that clip. You know? <laughs> Cut that clip. Cut it. Mark this time. Because I want to do a whole show on this. Uh, because And I, I want to. Thanks for tuning in. Like, yeah. 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 Bullshit. And the Facebook video. I would love to argue this point soberly <laughs> with no alcohol <laughs> yeah, to good. people. Yeah. That'd be a good start. Because it's I, I'm so set on no, my, no, listen, thought, I, I agree. my theory. Paul, who was the dude on Facebook? I'm from so Jersey? set on my theory. Bill, oh, Bill Voorhees. He made a Bill. whole post uh, complaining uh, about it. All and, right. And, and, and Bill like, Voorhees. A few Bill Voorhees. Yeah, I blocked That's from I, me to you. I blocked that. Jason bastard. Voorhees was, yeah. Uh, yeah, Jason of course, Voorhees, the. Yes. The, the, uh, I don't know who that dude is, but the dude with the mask. What a twat, man! Yeah. What a yeah. Jason Voorhees. Go, go back twat. to Halloween. You I feel prick. like Pete, bad, like bad moves. I'm yeah. sorry. That's no, I, I just I I've, I've heard it so many times over the years. Guys that are out there and they love the sport and they they want to they they have a, a knowledge of a body of water and they they're they're interested in measuring themselves Penises. against what the elites are <laughs> how about the week how about, how about like if the elite ends on a sunday go out on a monday if the elite yeah, starts on a thursday go out on a wednesday go measure yeah. yourself how and, about that and, 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 and they want to brag and boast oh i call it 20 pounds today and it's crap the, dude the, the heavy bag from the, and you're not a fan of the sport if you do it you know what i mean that, that, that's that's hey, all i'm saying that's and all I, I'm saying. I, honestly that's the point Right, that's they have every a, right to fish. They have every right to do whatever they want to do. But, but here's if you're a fan of the sport, here's then what pisses you be me doing off it. even more about it, though. 
let's get above the person. Let's get above Voorhees now. Let's <laughs> go to the pros. Let's go to the pros who who aren't saying shit about it. And I get it. I totally get it's it. It's everybody. It's everybody. Nobody I totally has it. a word to You've say. You've got a body of 100 anglers, and 90 of them are... I, 99. Not, I, I get it, Bailey. Listen, they're early in their career. Mm -hmm. They've got sponsorships on the line. I get it. I totally get it. But, dude, to not speak up about it or to to do the opposite and say, I saw a post from a few of the pros were like, oh, this was unfortunate, but the water's public, and they post a video or whatever. That's fucking crap. Dude, be honest. Be honest. Because when, when the other pros, the body of pros aren't stepping up to say what's real, it hurts. It hurts the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be honest about it. I Well, yeah, I get that. But that that ne not everybody can handle the negative exposure like you can, ah. right? You're you're a multifaceted business guy that's got this thing going. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of guys are, man. They're 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 just making it. They're they're not capable of being that controversial, or want to draw that kind of criticism onto themselves or their sponsors. You know, so it's very difficult. For a lot of guys to 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 speak up on in that in that way, right? I think there's something to be said too, though. Like, there's some there's an education aspect to it, where there's you know with with COVID speaking on COVID, so many new anglers, so many COVID. new people on the water, yeah. they don't understand the ethics. There might right. be some people out there that don't understand. No, hey, there is. And there's that's a, a tournament percentage. out here. Yeah, I shouldn't be I, out here right now yeah. because I there's think guys there's out here. A, I think there is a percentage there. Yeah. Well, there, yeah. there was a situation with me last year. Uh, I was, you know, one, my first show, I was telling you guys about, I caught my PB, 6.7 pounder. And there was, a, giant, there was a, the there, yeah. yeah, there was a local tournament going on there. And the only reason I decided to fish that particular lake that day was because a buddy of mine, Adam, he makes his own, uh, carves his own baits and stuff. He told me to meet him there because he had a bait to give me. So, yeah. so I'm like, all right, I meet him there. We talk, he hands me my bait. And I'm just fishing around the bank, you know, yeah. just staying out of their way. Yeah. And I catch his six something. And then some guy message, uh, commented on that post that, that Voorhees guy made saying, dude, didn't you um, brag about catching a giant during a tournament last year or whatever? And I'm like, dude, I was on the bank in the corner of the lake oh, out of everybody's way. Yeah. I can't help that there was a six-pounder in that corner where I was throwing my jig. Yeah. I wasn't getting in their way. Yeah. Well, I think there's a you difference know? between – And you plus know. I was invited to fish there, yeah. you know. Right. And meet, you didn't know the, the tournament was going on. Yeah. Right. Well, and, I, I knew and, the tournament was there, but I wasn't going on the water. Paul, hmm. we get three Hail Marys and, and uh, what, what, everybody here Catholic? What else they say? Pete, you Catholic? Our, you got our, a father. Yeah, our fathers, Paul. Hail Marys. Yeah, Paul, you were wrong. Glory be. Virgin Mary. Uh, you were wrong, Paul. My bad. Well, he told, me, he, he right. told me to meet me there. <laughs> it's all right. The oh, point yeah. is. I stayed out of their way. Guys that are trying to. <laughs> Except for know, that six pound. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. But here, let me, let me. But no, but the difference, Paul, is. Five thousand dollar entry fees, you know, life's dreams. Like I, I, I know, I know these guys. Like some guys have made it; they're established, and some guys are freaking walking that thin line of, you know, their their dreams, the dreams that they've chased, and then it collapsing and going back to a job at and, you know. And on top UPS of that, with, one of the one of the competitors oh, you know? told me to come there and meet him there. You know what but, I mean? No, but regardless of that, I'm saying like. At the level where Mike's at, yeah. these guys are much more money on the line. Yeah. A lot Dude, more I'm money pissed on the off, line. Paul. I was going to catch that six pounder. Yeah, yeah. Pete I was in that here. tournament. I didn't even say what. I was lake just it was. about to go to that corner. Yeah, no, he was not. I was what just lake. about to do it. Give me that. <laughs> yes, he was. He was throwing a black senko. I swear, <laughs> oh, man. I Bailey, how many it. hours of sleep you had? Zero. Ah. <laughs> Since when? Look at that. Look at the <laughs> eyes. Look at Bailey's eyes. You can see it. About four days ago. So, so you left your house at. What time on Saturday? Friday. Three. Huh? 3. 3 a.m. and you got the... Oh, Friday. 3 a.m. on Friday. 3 a.m. on Saturday. 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 Oh, 3 Saturday morning. morning. Okay. It's all good. It's just one What time do you get the knock? Uh, 9. Okay. Wow. But there's euphoria and that... Euphoria and energy <laughs> will bump you up. I'm keep young. You going. I gotta use it while Dude, I got it. Dude, you got the dub. <laughs> That's right. You got it's the worth dub. it. Yeah. Worth yeah. it. So... So awesome. That brings it back to when we won the when I won the classic. <laughs> no, say, no, I say wings. Yeah. Like a team event. <laughs> when I won the classic, I fished that last day 
think, think about the day and the pressure and then the interviews. Yeah. And then we went partying all night. And, yeah. and like, literally, I remember this. I think I've told a story before, but we partied all freaking night. And we got back to the hotel, which was the host hotel where Bass was at. And Gerald Crawford was still the photographer for Bass. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> yeah. And Gerald, like, I remember him, you know, saying, oh, we have to meet you in the morning. And we were, we were walking back in at <laughs> five, five, five thirty, six o'clock in the morning from partying. And they were in the lobby of the hotel, the photographers, <laughs> waiting really? for us to walk down the steps. Ugh. And we walked in the front. That's awesome. So me and McGraw handed you off, and we went upstairs. You went asleep. upstairs. <laughs> I got handed off. So uh, I know I've said this before. This is this will probably cause shit to storm too. But <laughs> on my cover, wait, wait. my Bassmaster cover, oh boy. when I won the classic, I was drunk out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no sleep. No sleep. The Still bad. hammered. That's hammered. <laughs> it was That's how it should be. The vampire himself, Travis Manson. We were down at uh, I believe it was Knoxville Classic. He was walking in the door. We're going in the morning down the launch. He's walking in to go grab his bag at 5 o'clock in the morning and walk back down the launch. He got about three minutes. He said he walked in, laid in bed, and his partner woke him up and said, yo, let's go. We got to go take pictures and walk right back down and back to, Wayne, or back to the launch he went. Wow. Yep, about three minutes of sleep, yeah. he said. Yeah, Travis don't sleep. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, Brian, it was a great show. Uh, what a, uh, I I just want to recap it was. this. This was a freaking great show. I don't I don't I don't actually don't want it to end, but it has to end. It's, it has to end. It has to end. Really uh, soon. Thank you for watching <laughs> and listening tonight. Uh, we've got one more thing to do, Jake. Yep. We're gonna give away this amazing. What you call it? How many pounds? Ah, uh, twelve. Twelve. Eighteen pounds. <laughs> full of, lead. Uh, <laughs> full <laughs> lead. <laughs> we're uh, sending it. We're sending it. Do you need these? No, nah, throw them in. You it. sure? Uh, yeah. That's yeah. a lot of stuff. That's still one in there. Yeah. 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 That's 33 pounds. 19 <laughs> pounds of, of gifts. Uh, and this was a like and share contest. Thank you for watching over on Facebook. Uh, Jake, let's do it. Let's give, away a, let's give away this thing. What do we got? The winner is Bruno Duffield. Bruno! Bruno Duffield? We don't talk Bruno about Duffield. Bruno. No, no. There it is. Uh, Duffield. Bruno Duffield, you are the winner. Is he Italian and Swedish? He's a uh, Melvillian. Is it Millvillian? It's it awesome. To be. I'm, I'm Mill villain. I like the name. Uh, Bruno, thank you for liking and sharing uh, that feed, and uh, you're the winner of that contest. Pete, it was a great show. Great show, man. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it, Paul. Thank great you. Great show. Bailey. I love, I love these old stories. It's great having I you love, I love hearing those. them, man. It was great. Uh, Jake, thank you for handling all those Woo. crazy messages. Brian the Carpenter producing a great show. And Brian, you, <laughs> I want to say again, thank you for tracking that guy down, both of you guys. That was crazy. I'm on it. I just need the okay for you. That was super cool. Yesterday, dude. you're like, all right, all right. Bailey and the winner, nice, easy show. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. You know, Short I, show. I like that. I like that. Yeah. First well, thing he, this he morning, I get, easy. yo, get the get get the tournament get director the from the wall I got. <laughs> 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 yo, lose lose. Luminati's winning. Get Lou on. <laughs> lose <laughs> winning. Get Lou on. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> it all changed. Yeah. But it was it was a great show, and I want to thank everybody for tuning in Bailey. tonight. Thank yeah. you for winning. Yes. So we only yeah. had to have one guest. Yes. Thank you for yeah. shortening the show. We would have been on until 2 a.m. Yeah. The way one, Mike's talking right now. <laughs> yes. It was a great show. But uh, Indeed. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I uh, appreciate it. Have a great night. Oh. We'll see you next yeah. week. Yeah. You got the video? Yeah. All right. We're going to go out to a video. What do you got, Bri? We got a video. All right. Uh, angry, thank you for watching tonight. men at the walleye way. All right. Thank you for watching. We're going to go out to a great <laughs> video that's probably the <laughs> oh, best wait. thing that's ever happened in the entire world of fishing. <laughs> uh, Good night. So, sorry, and wrong we will one. see you on the next one. This one. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Love you. Just gotta press play. Press the button. Press the button. You can do it. Use the mouse. Just a damn YouTube video. <laughs> Just press play. Go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. She chased me off of that dock. She chased me off that dock. But what everybody doesn't know is I caught one off that dock right before she came down. Really? She, I caught like a two pounder off that dock. I wasn't coming back anyway. I had enough of that dock. I wasn't going to come back. So when she came down to chase me off that dock, I was like, I'm hey, done. chase me off this dock. I'm fucking yeah. done anyway, yeah. bitch. It's cool. <laughs>
<laughs> so I just, I, I just, I just drove down that. to see this next dock down here. I'm like, I like those big gaps. I like those long gaps between docks because it's like, it's not like dock, 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 dock. It's like a dock, giant space, another dock, good like, dock, yeah. right? Isolated, you know. So I'm like, oh shit, I go down to this dock. That's cool. This is a good dock too because it fits the mold, you know, fits the pattern. I caught one off that dock. There might be off one off this dock, right? It's a yeah. proximity. So I'm like, oh shit, nobody gonna own this dock down here. Let's go down to this dock. This cool is my dock. favorite part. Your transition from, I was nice, nice to you guy. before. Yeah. Oh yeah. But now I'm gonna stay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No more Mr. Nice Guy. It's plain gone she, past. She egged him on. Oh, yeah. She did. She asked for it. I, I just she had yeah. it coming. And I'm not hitting the dock. You don't hear any pings. Yeah. Any like pangs. Yeah. I'll learn this at Dick's, working at Dick's. I know how to cast. Cast down the aisles a million times. I know how to do it. Middle? <laughs> That's a crop duster, by the way, folks. Middle. Middle? Hear that this plane? is middle. It's a radial engine. Yeah. Yep, hear that? It's radial. Oh, I thought that was yours. It's all ours. It's all ours. <laughs> all ours. You, you don't know, own the water, bro. Like the I'll whole what river? It, what is this, Russia? Fish here. Okay. I've been fishing 30 years. I, I'm a... I'm a homeowner on the water myself. I would never damage anybody's property. I know, but I don't need lines. I would never get my line. I'm really good, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think you, you got hung up in the eelgrass. I think that's what she was talking about. You can call the cops. I'm not leaving now. I was going to leave nice before, but I'm not leaving now. You can call <laughs> the cops. Favorite part. Call the cops. Call DNR. Call the government. Call Biden. Probably love them. <laughs> okay. Sounds like it. It's beautiful. Sounds like it. <laughs> Listen, the bass live under the docks. I know where the bass is. Okay. And how about you go back in the woods? Okay, bye, Karen. What'd she say? How about you go what? Go back in the woods. Oh. <laughs> go back in the woods. Go back in the woods. I don't even hunt! God damn it. I do like the woods. I like to go out in my woods and, like, masturbate alone every once in a while, but I don't like, I mean, I don't hunt. I don't even hunt. Stop it. I'm just saying. Uh, what is that thumbnail, bro? What the fuck is that, Jake? <laughs> Who is that? Why don't you change the camera? There it is. Okay. This is crazy. You Did the show the end, or are we still on? No, the show's over. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's go out to Pete. Say Good night, goodbye. everybody. <laughs> Let's roll. Oh, no. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> <Yes>. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. I'm Are you cool. sure? Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Was that live? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good no. that he's smiling. Very good that he's smiling. <laughs> That was graceful. Oh Staying calm. Dude, holy Getting to the God, ladder. Yeah, hey, basket has a built-in ladder. Very nice oh. feature. Lord have mercy. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Chesapeake. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yes.